Yo, welcome back to part three of building the FNAF movie in Minecraft. In today's video, we're gonna be going ahead and finishing the entire pizzeria by fully decorating this entire empty, soulless, heartless building by putting in some nice decorations. Yippee, let's go. All right, so the first room we're gonna go ahead and start with is the main entrance. It is the smallest and it is the easiest to decorate. In this chest is everything that you are going to need to decorate this entire room. You're going to need polished and incised stairs, mangrove sign, lever, birch button, red nether brick wall, birch sign, bamboo button, prismarine wall, polished blackstone slab, acacia button, acacia sign, warped sign, yellow stained glass, item frame, polished blackstone wall, chains, bamboo sign, white concrete, yellow terracotta, red terracotta, and an oak trap door. Now, once we get started with this, we're going to go ahead and grab our polished andesite stairs and come to this corner of the pizzeria and place two angled polished andesite stairs just like this. We're going to go ahead and place one nether brick wall here and one prismarine wall sitting right here. We're then going to grab our birch button and these are going to be used as little lights. We're going to place one right here. Wait a minute. I just realized something. This pillar is one block off. Quick thing, break this pillar just real quick, or just this one half, and just move this over just one block. It's one block over. This is supposed to be two and two on each side, and this is three right here. So just ignore that. Let's go ahead and move right back, and our birch button on this corner right here. We're then going to grab our birch sign, and we're going to go ahead and make it say exit. So we're going to do E space X space I space T. Then we're going to go ahead and grab our red die, and we're also going to grab a glow ink sack. So we're going to make the sign glow red, that way it's easy to see. Now go ahead and just dye it red, and have a glow ink sack on it, and there you go. That is what it should end up looking like. We can just go ahead and keep this in our inventory, just for right now. Now once we're done with that, we're going to go ahead and make the camera. So for the camera, we're going to need our lever and our polished blackstone wall, slab, sorry. One lever facing up like this, and a polished blackstone slab right on top of it. Now one thing I'm going to point out is that for this tutorial I'm using no custom player heads. So if you ever saw my actual showcase of the main pizzeria of my actual showcase of this, there are all custom player heads and the animatronics and all that. In this video I will not be having any custom player heads and I will not be making the animatronics. But if you would like to you can obviously use armor stands and then place you know different colored leather armor on it to act as the animatronics. Of course I'll I can show you how to do that if you would like and we might actually just go ahead and do that anyway once we get there. So, once we're done with that, we're going to go ahead and move over to this wall right here. Alright, then we're going to go ahead and grab our white concrete, and our yellow terracotta, along with a mangrove sign, and birch sign. We're going to get- we're going to go ahead and break these two blocks right here, and we're going to place two white, one white, and one yellow, just like this. With our mangrove sign, we're going to go ahead and bring this here, and we're just going to go ahead and type Freddy Fazbear's, and then space, pizza. Just like that. And we might as well also just grab our glow ink sack and dye it red as well, just like this. On this side, we're going to grab our bamboo sign, and we're going to type TIME TO PARTY. Make sure this is in all caps, by the way. TIME TO PARTY, LIKE, THERE'S, SPACE, NO, TOMORROW. So this is what it should look like. And then this, we're actually going to go ahead and dye it yellow. So grab our yellow dye, and go ahead and dye that yellow and make it glow. And then one more time, our mangrove sign, we're just going to type Freddy fazbears underscore or just you know space pizza and then dye this red with a glowing sack now that we have that we're going to grab our polished blackstone wall place one right here this is going to act as a trash can and then we're going to go ahead and grab our birch buttons once again <laughs> along with our we already have our mangrove sign the birch buttons are going to go all around this acting as the little lights that kind of light up around the arch and then our mangrove signs we're just going to go ahead and place signs going on top of this just like this. This is supposed to be the welcome. We're not going to type it in because it will not fit on five signs. Now, once we have that, we're going to go ahead and actually grab a um, our lever once again, which is... Did I get rid of it? I got rid of it. We're going to grab our lever, and we're also going to grab our polished blackstone slab once again. I didn't get rid of the lever. And we're going to have a camera sitting right here, so upward facing lever and a polished blackstone slab sitting on top. There's another security camera. Now, once we're done with that, we're going to go ahead and actually grab our, let's see, let's grab our chain, our item frame, and our yellow stained glass. And what we're going to do, we're going to end up placing little hanging lights right here. Um, but before we go ahead and do that, we're going to go ahead and grab our other signs. We're going to grab our acacia, warp sign, 
bamboo sign and birch sign actually no just let's see oh and the mangrove sign so just these three acacia warped and mangrove we're gonna go ahead and place one mangrove in this corner we're gonna place two warped in these corners and then one acacia right there once we're done with that we're gonna go ahead and grab our brown carpet which is one item i forgot to add and this is going to be where the desk is so we're gonna have it going along the desk like this we're then gonna go ahead and grab our acacia button and we're gonna place one right here one right here one right here and one right here so this is what it should end up looking like then we're gonna go ahead and grab our oak trap doors and we're gonna go ahead and place four trap doors along the bottom flip those up then we're gonna go ahead and place four trap doors here four trap doors here and four trap doors here as the actual shelves that hold some of the prizes then once we're done with that we're gonna go ahead and grab our lever once again along with our polished blackstone slab and we're gonna go ahead and place a camera sitting right here so we're gonna place an upward facing lever and a polished blackstone slab just like that so that is the camera now we're gonna go ahead and come around the back and one thing we're gonna go ahead and actually break our yellow uh, break the um, copper and replace it with yellowed ter terracotta we're then gonna go ahead and break these two blocks right here grab our red terracotta we're gonna place one red and one white just like this then with our mango of sun we're gonna go ahead and place this and it's gonna say Freddy Fazbear's Pizza just like the other ones and of course we will dye this one red and make it glow as well just like that and then we're gonna go ahead and grab our bamboo sign and this one is going to say where all your dreams come true we're gonna say where all caps by the way where all your dreams come true just like that just like that and we're gonna go ahead and dye this one yellow and make it glow just like this now we're gonna actually grab our chains our yellow stained glass and our item frame one block from so from this block here we're gonna skip one and place a chain item frame and then yellow stained glass so this is supposed to be like a little um dome light just like this now we're going to come back over to here and we're going to place one chain here skip one and one chain right here and this is going to be where two more hanging lights are going to be and place them just like this now that is i'm pretty sure everything besides you know there are so in my original map there are custom player heads that act as some of the decorations but since i am not using custom player heads for this tutorial i will not be adding that now now that we are done with this entire room here we can go ahead and get rid of every single item and we're going to move on now to the hardest part of this of this episode and also the biggest part which probably will end up taking the most time and there is one thing in the actual pizzeria there is you know checkerboard or checkered tiles that are on here and how people do that or how i have done it before is using map art so this is going to be an optional part if you do not want to actually add extra like extra details along the walls you don't have to but i'm doing it because it is actually in the actual movie so i'm going to show you how to make the map art just right outside the pizzeria now keep in mind that this is going to be map art and this is going to take a lot of time if you do not have world edit now world edit is a mod that is actually that makes building very very quick and easy to do um since i have that it will not take a lot of time for me but if you do not have world edit this will take a lot of time but it also will give you a lot more detail to add onto the map so if you are going to be doing this we're going to go ahead and grab cyan concrete red concrete you might as well just go to concrete we're going to need cyan concrete, red concrete, white concrete, and black concrete. We're going to go ahead and we are going to go ahead and place, so we're going to grab a map actually. And this can be anywhere outside as, as long as, so as long as it's, you know, a decent size away or a decent space away from the actual pizzeria, we're just going to grab a map and we're going to go to one of the corners. So let's just go to this corner all the way over here. Make sure to fill in this whole entire map. We're going to go all the way down to this corner. Oh wait, that actually faces that way. Alright, might as well actually go a little bit further. And we're going to go ahead and go down to this corner over here. Just It could be any corner, honestly, but I recommend going down to the bottom right corner of one of the maps. Now, it may take a few tries to try and find the exact corner of it. You can definitely look down there and you can see and kind of place around to see exactly where it should be going. And then once you get it, hopefully in the right spot... Which should be right there once you get it directly in the corner below then just go ahead and place in any direction you can see that is what it's going to be like now we're going to go ahead and actually place going up in this direction of the map we're going to place 64 cyan blocks so this is our first one this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 61 62 63 64 blocks of cyan and that goes exactly halfway 
up the map now what you're going to go ahead and do is bring this all the way across to the other side so this is almost double the length of what we had before and this is going to be the longest the longest part of these um map art is actually filling it in so once you actually bring this all the way across to the other side i'll show you what it looks like and we should be just about there all right and then once you are at the end you should definitely make sure that it is pretty much exactly at the end not one block forward, not one block back, perfectly across. And then you're gonna go ahead and bring this all the way back down. And what you're gonna go ahead and do once you actually have this lined up is fill the entire cyan area fully in with all cyan concrete. So once this is perfectly lined up like this, that should be about right, should be right down there. There we go. What you're gonna go ahead and do is fill this entire cyan area in with concrete. And you can also bring this all the way across if you want to as well, but just fill this entire area in with cyan concrete and I will show you what it looks like once it is done. So, I will be right back. Oh. Alright, this is what it should end up looking like once it is fully complete. Shader alert, by the way. Had to, had to turn it back on. This is what it should end up looking like once it is fully filled in with cyan concrete. The bottom half of the map should be filled with cyan. Now, we're going to go ahead and move on to a little bit of an easier part that doesn't require as much filling, but you still have to fill in stuff anyway. We're going to go ahead and grab our red concrete and place one, two, three, four just four like this and what you're going to go ahead and do is bring this all the way across to that end over here so just to you know just do this real quick i'm just going to go ahead and fill it in so that should be pretty much close to the end just like this and this is going to be kind of the bottom half or like the very the base of the checkerboard pattern i guess you could say that is what it's going to end up looking like there should be a red line that goes pretty much roughly in the middle just like this now we're going to go ahead and go all the way to this end right over here, and which is the right side of the map by the way. We're going to grab our white concrete and we're going to go ahead and place 28 white. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Just like this. And then we're going to go ahead and bring it actually 32 across. So 32 going that way. This is our first one. So just keep that in mind. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. Once you have done that, go ahead and bring this all the way down. Now it is, it's not a perfect square. It has to be a little stretched out for the tiles to actually fit. Then with our black concrete, we're going to do the exact same thing. Place 28. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. And then the exact same thing, 32 all the way across, which you can just go ahead and bring it all the way across to make sure it just lines up with the white concrete. So it should look like that. Bring this all the way down. And then once it reaches this end, just go ahead and bring this all the way across, just like this. And then once you actually have this, this is pre this is pretty much going to be the squares that you are going to have to repeat, going all the way down to the other end of the um, other end of the map. So this is what it looks like right now. And then once we're done with that, we're going to grab our red concrete and fill it in one, two, three, four. So that fills in the very top part of the map. And just do the same thing. Just go ahead and bring this all the way over to the other end, just like this. Obviously, I'm using a world that I'm using a mod, but you'll have to fill it in manually for it to reach the end and just bring it all the way across just like that. Pretty sure this is exactly where it lines up. Yeah. Now, once it is filled all the way across, what you're going to go ahead and do is fill in these two squares. And every time you're going to go ahead and cross them, obviously, so it makes a checkerboard pattern. So black is up top. Black is going to next be on the bottom while white is going to next be, you know, right here while black is down here. It's going to swap every single time, and it's going to end up filling in, there's going to be four of them, so black, white, black, white, just like that, and then white, black, white, black, going four across. I'm going to go ahead and make the outlines of the squares, and then fill them in, so I will be right back. Now, in case you guys are unaware, this is what it should end up looking like. Obviously, I don't have it filled in yet, but like I said, it's just crisscrossing the patterns every time until it reaches this, so it ends up looking like a checkerboard pattern. Now, I'm going to go ahead and fill it in, and I will show you what the completed map art looks like, so I will be right back. All right, this is the completed map art now that it is fully filled in, and now you are able to go ahead and have this ready, and with an item frame, you can go ahead and fill this in around the walls to add some extra detail to it. So, in case you did actually follow this part and actually make the map art, I will show you what to do. Now, we're going to go ahead and make our way back inside and actually get started on the, on the actual inside. 
all right now now you have it now whoever has completed the map bar and whoever didn't we're gonna go ahead and real quick place some of the map bar that goes along the walls so just along the cyan we're going to be placing this map bar now obviously you may see some of this stick out but unless you use a command which unless you use a command which actually makes the item frames invisible then it will not be it you will see this but for now i'm just gonna go ahead and keep this here and place the map bar along the walls same thing along the inside too some areas you may not be able to get so that is that's totally fine if you don't end up getting it but just place it all around just the cyan i'm gonna continue placing this around all right this is what it should end up looking like for whoever has completed the map bar this is what the um extra details will look like it adds an extra checker pattern and still keeps the cyan concrete to it now obviously in some areas like it stops right over here i just go ahead i just went ahead and stopped right there I went all the way around, skipped over the doors, went around here, and around down here, I did not go all the way because we're going to end up blocking this area off, and probably like right here too, so it doesn't even need to go that far. Now, for those of you who did not do the map art, that's totally fine, we're going to go ahead and now actually get decorating. So, there is a lot of stuff that we're going to need to decorate this entire place. So, we're going to be doing this in separate parts, in separate little chunks, decorating this. So... We're going to go ahead and grab our birch sign, polished blackstone, smooth quartz stairs, smooth quartz slab, light blue terracotta, smooth sandstone, jungle sign, mangrove sign, jungle button, ba bamboo button, light blue concrete, brown concrete, chain, yellow stained glass, item frame, stripped mangrove wood, mangrove slab, crimson stairs, painting, cyan concrete, or sorry, cyan terracotta, spruce planks, spruce stairs, iron trap door, purple concrete, acacia sign, crimson slab, lime terracotta, acacia trap door, warp sign, warped trap door, lever, polished blackstone slab, polished diorite stairs, polished diorite slab, birch trap door, and the rest we're going to have to go ahead and save for when we actually get to those parts. I'm going to go ahead and actually toss that. I'm just going to go ahead. Yeah. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and actually get started with some of the decorating. Now, while we're doing this, we're going to go ahead and, for right now, we're going to skip the entire center, and we're going to save this for the last part. We're just going to go ahead and decorate all the way around here, and then do this last. So, right off the bat, we're going to go ahead and come over to here and break two of these blocks right here. We're going to place one smooth sandstone and one light blue terracotta. With our mangrove sign, we're going to go ahead and make it say Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. And then the top one, we're going to use our jungle sign, and it's going to say pizza as hot as egypt so the, keep in mind this is every single poster that is actually in the fnaf movie so i'm just importing it into here then we're going to go ahead and grab our orange dye we're going to dye both of them orange and then grab our glow ink sack and make both of them glow so it looks just like that now once we've done that we're going to grab our polished blackstone place two polished blackstone right here one smooth quartz and one smooth quartz stairs just like this now some of the item frames will interact with some of the objects um and they will not stay there that's totally fine not every single item frame will be able to stay here then we're going to go ahead and grab our birch sign and actually you know might as well we're just going to copy this it's the exact same thing it is the birch sign that says exit and with the red um with the red dye um, on it. Now, in case for any Java players who wonder how I just copy that, I held down Control and and hit middle click, and that is how I just copied it over and then placed it just like that. Now, once we're done with that, we're gonna go ahead and move over a little bit to the left. We're then gonna go ahead and grab our man stripped mangrove wood. We're gonna place one right here, and then our mangrove slab and place it right on top. And then using using our mangrove sign, we're gonna go ahead and say toys, toys, toys. This is supposed to be, I'm assuming, like a, a toy machine or something. I'm not exactly sure what it is. I don't really remember. And this is going to be using white dye along with our glow ink sack to make it glow. Then once we're done with that, we're going to go ahead and grab our crimson stairs and place one right here. This is going to be like, these, so these are supposed to represent stacked chairs. Um, obviously, I'm just going to use just one for right now. Then we're going to go ahead and grab our brown concrete and light blue concrete. And we're going to go ahead and break these two blocks, place one brown, one light blue. Then we're going to go ahead and grab our mangrove sign and our warp sign. We're, our mangrove sign is going to say Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, once again. And actually, we can go ahead and if you want, you can move it down one and then say Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. That way it's actually more in the center. Fazbear's Pizza. Just like that. And then using our warp sign, we're going to make this say Leaning... Actually, in all caps, too. 
leaning tower of pizza just like that and then we're gonna go ahead and grab our orange dye once again and then we're gonna go ahead and grab our glow ink sack so it will look just like that once we're done with that we're gonna go ahead and actually grab two buttons our acacia or sorry our jungle button and bamboo button so these are going to represent the lights. We're going to place one right here, our one jungle button, skip two, one bamboo, skip two, one jungle, just like this. So these are going to represent some of the lights. The bamboo are the active lights, the jungle are the turned off lights. Now we're going to go ahead and come down to here and what we're going to do is grab our paintings and we're going to go ahead and first of all with our blue terracotta, we're going to place one, two, three, four, one on top. We're then going to place one, two, three, and then one going all the way across the top down down two just like this then down one and then one two three four just like this so these are going to be the paintings that are like the holes where the paintings are going to go we're going to place one block and one block right here now with our paintings we're going to place our paintings all in the middle so just make sure that they, it could be honestly be any random painting it does not matter just make sure they don't match every single time otherwise it will get pretty repetitive and it will end up looking pretty boring so just go ahead and fill in all of these spots, and if you don't like some paintings, just change them up a bit, make sure that they look different. And then once you're done, we can go ahead and break this whole outlining, and then these are supposed to represent all of the like paintings that we see at the very beginning of the movie. Um, once we're done with that, we're going to go ahead and grab our buttons again. And right here, we're going to place one bamboo button, skip two, another bamboo button, skip two, and then a jungle button, just like this. So two on, one off. Then once we're done with that, we're going to move down into this room here. We're going to go ahead and grab our spruce planks, spruce stairs, cyan terracotta, item frame, our iron trap doors, our purple concrete, our acacia sign, and our crimson slab. First off, we're going to go ahead and place one, two cyan terracotta just like this and then stack it two more up so it's two by three then with our spruce planks we're gonna go ahead and place um sorry two two spruce planks that stack three up no sorry that stack all the way across actually wait no 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 i take that back what we're gonna go ahead and do is actually place two upside down stairs just like this so one block out we're gonna continue placing these going all the way up by three blocks in total on top of these is where we're going to place our planks going at a diagonal angle just like this stacking two up so it will look something like this and of course you know we can go ahead and place stairs just to fill in these spots just like that then we're gonna go ahead and place two item frames with our iron trap door we're gonna go ahead and place two iron two iron trap doors facing this way just like this so they act as little handles so these are the little um, lockers I'm pretty sure then with our purple concrete we're gonna go ahead and place one two three four five six our acacia sign we're gonna go ahead and place these all the way around as an orange as like orange lights going around then we're gonna go ahead and break these two and we're gonna go ahead and place one two three four slabs we're then going to skip up one and place one two three four so it looks just like this then break these four blocks on the back and grab our lime terracotta and place two or four actually filling in this just like this then we're gonna go ahead and grab our acacia trap door and we're gonna break this one too and we're gonna place four trap doors that will cover up this side of the wall so it will end up looking something like this now this is supposed to be a small arcade machine i don't exactly remember what it is but you know this is how you make it in blocks all right now what we're going to go ahead and do is actually move on to the no oh, we'll pass on it for now all right next we're going to go ahead and grab our warped trap door and our warped sign we're going to place one two three four warped trap doors just like this our warped signs are going to be going all the way around so we're going to go ahead and place one sign right here and we're going to be using underscores so not dashes or it could be dashes but i i use underscores it really all it does is just make it so it's one lower you can see the difference between dash underscore it does not matter i'm going to be using underscores so one two three and just fill this all the way into the very end so it looks just like that then go down one fill it in all the way to the bottom go down one more fill this in all the way to the bottom once you have that we're going to go ahead and grab our red die and we're going to go ahead and place that there and then grab our glow ink sack and make it glow now once we have that i'm just going to go ahead and for you know any java players hold control middle click it will copy it and we're just going to go ahead and place these going all the way around as at least filling in as many spots as many spots as you can just try and make it look so like it covers 
pretty much everything. Obviously, it can't cover every size because, you know, signs are annoying. But once you have that, this is what it should, should end up looking like. Once you have that, we're going to go ahead and grab our bamboo buttons and our jungle buttons. And we're going to place one jungle, one jungle button there, a bamboo button here, bamboo here, jungle here, and then bamboo right here. So those are going to be the lights. Then once we're done with that, we're going to go ahead and grab our lever and our black uh, polished blackstone slab. There's going to be a camera that's actually right here. So a lever facing upwards and one polished blackstone slab just like that. Now, once we're done with that, we're going to go ahead and grab our warp sign again. So this is not going to be the those like those lights. So we're going to grab a normal warp sign. And what we're going to go ahead and do is actually bring this all the way across so it reaches this end and it will stop just like that. Then once you have done that, we're going to go ahead and grab our um, polished diorite stairs and our polished diorite slabs. We're going to place one, two, three just like wait no 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 sorry one two three just like this then we're gonna go ahead and place backwards one so one two and three just like this then one two three stairs and then one two three slabs go ahead and you can just you know fix this grab the maps whatever then once you're done with that we're gonna go ahead and grab our birch trap doors and place one two three on the top just like these so these are going to be pinball, pinball machines that's what they are and then our um we're gonna go ahead and grab stone buttons so that is one thing i forgot to um add stone buttons just place go ahead and place three along the bottom just like that now we're gonna go ahead and grab our cyan concrete actually i think now that we've done that we're gonna go ahead and get rid of some of the item frames get rid of a few of these things obviously we'll end up coming back to them we're gonna go back to this double chest we're going to grab cyan we already have cyan so we're gonna grab our red concrete magenta concrete and our yellow concrete we're gonna just go ahead and leave that out and we're gonna come back over to here and with our cyan we're gonna place one cyan one red one magenta one yellow just like this so this is going to end up being freddy foxy Bo wait no i don't know uh, it doesn't matter now we're gonna go ahead since we do not need these anymore we're going to grab back over to here we can pick this up again if you would like to we're gonna grab our dark oak sign and our bamboo sign if you did not grab it already we're going to place one oh wait yeah we already have our mangrove so we're going to place one mangrove sign just like that no letters on it or ever or anything one dark oak sign one bamboo sign and then our warp sign right there all right this is what this should end up looking like once that is done we're going to go ahead and make a way and decorate the stage now and we can we can add in like the armor stands and we can make the animatronics i'll show you how to do that Go ahead and dispose of these signs. We do not need these anymore. Keep a few of them, you know, just in case. All right. Once you have done that, we're going to go ahead and grab our jungle button. No, sorry, our acacia button. And we're also going to grab, if we do not have it already, we're going to go back to this double chest. We're going to grab our chiseled, bl polished blackstone, our purple banner, and also a red banner, which is one thing that I did forget to leave out. So grab our red banner as well. We can go ahead and get rid of those trap doors. We're going to come back over to here and also grab our stone button. So just make sure to have that. We're going to go ahead and place one chiseled polished blackstone, one here and then one here, along with a polished blackstone slab right on top. We're then going to go ahead and place a button like this and a button right here. And then on this side, we're going to place one button facing this. Actually, wait, no, sorry, no button whatsoever on that side. Now with our acacia button, we're going to go ahead and place one right here. Skip one, place one. And then right here, we're going to place one, two. Then we're going to place one, skip one over, place one. And this is what it should end up looking like. With our red banners, we're going to go ahead and place these going just all the way across. Why is it? Why is this one white? Hello? H Hello? What? A bug, I guess. All right. Then we're we'll just going to go ahead and do the same thing here. See, I don't have that there. Okay, it doesn't matter. Now here, we're going to have another camera. So we're going to grab our lever and make sure you have your polished blackstone slab lever and our slab on top so we have another camera that's going to be facing the animatronics then we're going to go ahead and i'm pretty sure i have oak slab we're going to grab that go ahead and bring that in and we're going to go ahead and place one two three these are the stands that the animatronics are going to be standing on and since i mentioned animatronics we're going to grab our armor stands and place one two 
3. Now, in Java Edition, they do not come with arms, but in Bedrock, they do. So, in Bedrock, obviously, you know, you have arms, you can place stuff, you know, if Jiga has a cupcake, you can place, like, a cake in her hand, or a lever in Freddy's hand, or as a mic. In Java, we cannot do that, so we're just going to go ahead and add the actual colored armor. So, we're going to go ahead and temporary store, temporarily store some stuff just in our chest, just go ahead, just, it could be anything. We're going to grab our leather, and grab a full, full set, helmet, chest plate, leggings, and boots, along with a crafting table, and we're going to grab multiple sets of dye. So we're going to grab four, we already have brown, so leather pants are already brown. We're going to grab four, um, sorry, four yellow, and four purple. Bonnie in the movie, yeah, Bonnie in the movie is purple, that's five. Four purple dye, and yeah, we're going to go ahead and just grab our crafting table, and we're going to go ahead and bring our helmet in, we're going to make Chica first. One yellow, and then we're going to grab our um, tunic, one yellow. Go ahead, you can just go ahead and place these on. Bam, bam. Once you've done that, go ahead. We're going to do our pants next. Bam. And then our boots last. Just like this. And then that is the full set for Chica. And we can go ahead and actually just place on Freddy. So just like that, we got that. Then we're going to do Bonnie's next. So we're going to go ahead and do our chest plate, or sorry, our helmet for Bonnie. Our chest plate for Bonnie. Our boots, sorry, our leggings for Bonnie. Once we've done that, just go ahead and place this on. Bam, bam, and bam. I think Bonnie's not that crazy purple. To be honest, it does not matter that much. And then last, grab our boots and place this on just like that. Now there we go, we have the three animatronics. We'll do Foxy next. So go ahead and just, you know, bring our crafting table over to this side. We're going to grab our oak slab. Sorry, oak slab, not planks. Bam. And we're going to go ahead and place one right here in the center. We're going to grab our armor stand once again. And we're going to place it right here. Now, for Foxy, obviously, we need red dye. So go ahead and grab four red dye. One, two, three, four. We're going to do our cap first. One. Our chest plate. Two. And for Foxy's pants, they are actually um, endoskeletons. So we're going to go ahead and actually grab chainmail. We're going to use chainmail boots and then regular leggings as his pants, so because his pants are brown, and then chainmail boots for his feet. So we now have Foxy, and that is all for animatronics. Now, we're going to go ahead and decorate all of Foxy's stage, since I don't understand this white glitch with some of these banners. It does not matter that much. Now, also, there are some, um, there are spotlights, just to keep in mind. There are spotlights that are in the actual movie, but since we're not using custom player heads, we're not going to be adding these. So go ahead and grab all of these blocks once again. We can go ahead and then grab... I believe we do not. Alright, so let's go ahead and grab our bars. And normally these bars will ha hold spotlights, but we're just going to have these just for decoration. Just on the sides of the stage, so it will look something like this. Then once we're done with that, we don't need our bars anymore. We're going to come over to Foxy stage and with our purple banners, place four purple banners, or five actually going all the way up to the top. I'm not liking this glitch with the banners. I don't, I think it might just be, be because of my shaders. To be honest, it, it does not matter. All right. Now, once we are done with that, we're going to go ahead and grab our crimson stairs and then come back over and we're going to place one sitting right here. We're then going to grab our crimson button. Or is it mangrove? It's the mangrove button, actually. Mangrove button along with a mangrove sign. We're going to place the button right here and then the sign right above it. This is going to say showtime. So this is the showtime button that is obviously you know not not functional. We're then going to go ahead and grab our yellow dye, dye it yellow, and then grab our glow ink sack and make it glow. There we go. Now that we go ahead and have that, we're also going to grab our warp sign. And we're going to bring this all the way over. We can just go ahead and place these along the sides just to continue adding all the way around. Might as well actually do that now. So along all of the top, so just the very top of the entire roof is going to be filled with all warped signs. So just place these going all the way around. Just like this. And obviously some of the blocks that you can't fill in, it does not matter. We can't do anything about that. So place them until it, you know, ends up reaching an end point. And this is what it should end up looking like. You can place one there too. On the inside here, they do not go on the inside. So don't, don't worry about that. Then once we're done with that, we're going to go ahead and come back over to Pirate's Cove. And we're going to place Foxy's camera right here, which is actually behind Foxy instead of in front of him. There actually is a camera that is in front of him. I'm pretty sure this camera actually is supposed to face down there. 
It's, it's between one of the two, but no matter what, we're going to go ahead and place another one. I'm just sitting right here, flip the lever so it is facing this way, and place a slab right there. So it's going to look a little bit weird, but that's just how you know that that is a security camera that is facing on Foxy's Pirate Cove. Now, once we're done with that, we're going to come over and come back to the actual front of the diner, and we're going to grab our chains, our item frames, and our yellow stained glass again. And then once we have this, we're going to go ahead and place a light that is sitting right here that will look just like this. We're then going to go ahead and grab our buttons again. We're going to grab our um, bamboo buttons and our jungle buttons. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, jungle. Then once we're done with that, we're going to go ahead and come over to here and we're going to place one bamboo button here, another bamboo button right here. Once we're done with that, I'm pretty sure then we're going to go ahead and grab our warped sign once again, the sign that I just threw away. And what we're going to do is do the same thing that we did here, except they're going to be yellow. So we're just going to place a sign right here. Use underscores. I, I mean, it does, once again, does not matter. We're just going to do three rows of underscores. Once we have done that, we're going to go ahead and grab our yellow die and our glow ink sack. And then once we have that, we're, we're going to go ahead and um, just copy the same thing and just place these all along here, all along here and right down to there. And now, once we're done with that, we're actually going to change up um, change up the sign real quick. What we're going to do is go ahead and break these two signs in the middle, so skipping two over, break these two. Grab a warped sign again, and this is going to go ahead, we're going to skip down one row and do all caps, and it's going to say PRIZES. I can't spell for some reason, there we go. Then we're going to go ahead and just have two signs just like this. We're then going to go ahead and grab our yellow dye and dye these two yellow, and our glow ink sack and dye them yellow, or make it glow. Now once we have that, we're gonna go ahead and grab our oak trap doors, if we do not have those already. And we're gonna go ahead and place one, two, three, and then one, two, three trap doors, just like this, as these shelves. Then we're gonna go ahead and grab our lever again. So we're gonna grab our lever and our black uh, polished blackstone slab, and there's going to be another security camera sitting right there. Then once we're done with that, we're going to go ahead and grab our oak slab, place that right here so we can get rid of these two, place that there, and a warped sign, which is, I just threw away, grab that, and this is going to say, thank you, because on a lot of trash kind, a lot of trash cans, a lot of signs say thank you, and then once we're going to, once we do that, we're going to grab our yellow dye once again, place that there, and we're going to actually keep the yellow dye, and we're going to go ahead and grab our dark oak sign, if we do not have that already. Just grab it real quick, and there is going to be a sign right here, and this is going to say, let's, we're going to skip two rows down, and then say, eat. Dye that yellow, and then grab your glow ink sack, and just dye the top one yellow, don't dry, don't dye this trash can yellow. Then once we have done that, we're going to go ahead and grab our lever and polished blackstone slab. There's going to be a camera sitting right here, so we can place that there, break that sign, and place a black, polished blackstone slab right there as another camera. Then once we have done that, we're going to go ahead and grab our birch sign. And actually, we can just go ahead. So what we're going to do is actually grab the exit sign. And we're going to place two of them right on top of this door right here. Then we're going to go ahead and grab our bamboo button and place one right in this corner, just like that. We're then going to grab our jungle button and place one right here. Skipping all the way over, place a bamboo button right here. Now, once again, keep in mind, jungle buttons means the light's turned off. Bamboo means the light's turned on. And then I'll go ahead. Once we're done, we'll go ahead and add the lighting in the room. Now, once we're done with that, we're going to go ahead and grab our stripped oak wood and our oak slabs again. We're going to place two right here and two on top, and then fix that right there. Then, once we're done with that, we're going to go ahead and grab our warp sign again, which says thank you. And we're just going to place these sitting right here in front of the bathrooms. Now, once we're, we've done that, we're going to grab our warp sign, not the copied ones, just the regular ones. And we're going to do the same thing like we did with here and with that over there. We're going to place this right here, and we're going to do the underscores, three rows of underscores. And then once we have done that, we're going to go ahead and grab our green dye, and our glow ink sack. And then we're going to dye this one green. Now once we have done that, we're going to go ahead and just copy these, going all the way over, and stopping right there. Break these two in the middle, and this one is where it's going to say restroom. So it's going to say rest, and we're going to do R space E space S space T. So in between everything, you're going to do a space. Same thing right here. Skip one down and do rooms. Just like that. Then dye these green, 
grab your glow ink sack and make them glow and there you go we now have restrooms right here now i'm pretty sure all we have to do now is just add in the lighting for the room so what we're gonna go ahead and do i'm pretty sure if they're not in here oh yeah quartz pillars and um block of stripped bamboo then go ahead and have your chains your item frames and your yellow stained glass once you have that we're gonna go ahead and with our quartz pillar we're gonna come over to this block right here skip one break these two then right here we're gonna skip four one two three four on the fifth we're gonna break these two bamboo right here quartz pillars right here so the quartz pillars are the lights that are turned on the bamboo are the ones that are turned off why bamboo because in the in the movie the lights are kind of like a really dark yellow when they're turned off and when they're turned on they are white so that's what we're gonna have them as now we're gonna go ahead and grab our chains and coming right down to this block right here we're gonna place two chains one two item frame and yellow stained glass same thing right over here we're gonna come to this block right here place two chains one two item frame and yellow stained glass just like this then once we have done that we're going to come go ahead and come over to this block right here so this corner we're going to place one two item frame yellow stained glass just like that then we're going to go ahead and come over to these little pinball machines we're going to go right above the center one and skipping two blocks out we're going to place one two item frame yellow stained glass then once we have done that we're going to go ahead and come back down to over here and right at this block right here we're going to go ahead and skip eight blocks so one two three four five six seven eight on the ninth block we're going to break these two and place two bamboo then we're going to go ahead and grab our polished blackstone slabs and what we're going to go ahead and do is go ahead and place one two just like this then we're going to place three four five just like that so these are supposed to be where um lights are going to be that shine onto the stage and we're going to go ahead and keep those right there now once we're going to once we're done with that we're going to go ahead we're going to grab our block of strip bamboo and from this block we're going to skip one two three four then we're going to skip one two on this block right here place break two blocks place two bamboo just like this then once we're going to go ahead and do that we're going to go ahead and go one two three four and then we're gonna go one two three and on the fourth no sorry four on the fourth one break two blocks and place your bamboo just like this actually no sorry there's supposed to, it's supposed to be one more up there we go that way it's actually matching now there is a, there are a few other lights around we're gonna go ahead and come over towards the restrooms now and from this block we're gonna go ahead and skip one out and place two chains item frame and yellow stained glass just like that then we're going to go ahead and come down right over to here from this block from the cyan concrete looking straight up skip one block out and on the second one place two chains item frame yellow stained glass then we're going to go ahead and grab our quartz pillar and we're going to skip one two three and then one two on the third we're going to break two blocks here and place two quartz pillars just like this then once we're done with that we're going to come over to the prize counter we're going to grab our chains and right on this block right here we're going to place one two chains and then item frame yellow stained glass and then coming to this corner block we're going to skip one more up place one two item frame and yellow stained glass actually wait no i take it back it's one block over one two item frame yellow stained glass so it should look something just like that now that we are completely done with this we're going to go ahead and actually get rid of everything in our inventory and we're going to come to this second chest now and we're going to place all of the seating in this entire room once we're done with that the entire dining hall will be done and we can go ahead and move on to the prize or the arcade back there so we're going to go ahead and grab our prismarine stairs smooth sandstone stairs diorite wall yellow stained glass panes magenta purple red brown and green stained glass panes now we're going to go ahead and come over to this staircase right here this one little chair we're going to grab our smooth sandstone stairs stairs and skip two down and then place one two then we're going to go ahead actually i take that back we we need a few more things two more things we need our chains changes one chains and then our oak slabs that's the only two other things that we needed for the actual tables two chains just like this and two oak slabs then with our prismarine stairs we're going to place one two then with our walls we're going to place one two behind it and then right here we're going to place one yellow and one magenta stained glass pane so it looks just like this now once we're done with that all of the dining room chairs and stuff are at an angle going towards that direction obviously since we can't do that in minecraft we're going to be going ahead and we're going to be going ahead and skipping down two blocks or skipping down one block and place two prismarine stairs just like this then we're going to place two chains two oak slabs 
and then two smooth sandstone stairs. Then going down again, we're going to place two more prismarine stairs, two chains, and two oak slabs on top of it, along with two smooth sandstone stairs. Then two diorite walls, one, two. And then we're going to place one red and then one purple, just like this. So these are some of the booths right here. Then once we're done with that, we're going to go ahead and come down to this corner that is right here. We're going to skip one block down and place one, two, three diorite walls. So this is going at a straight angle like this. So the chairs are going to be a little bit confusing. We're going to get rid of our stairs and actually pull out our slabs. So instead of stairs, we're going to be we're going to have smooth sandstone slabs and prismarine slabs. We're going to place one uh, smooth sandstone slab right there. Two chains just like oh, two chains right here along with two oak slabs and one prismarine slab like this. Then we're gonna have a sandstone slab, two chains and two oak slabs on top, along with a prismarine slab like that. And then once more, two chains, two oaks, wait, no, 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 no. I meant to actually say we need to place one smooth sandstone slab, two chains, and then two oak slabs right on top. Then we're gonna go ahead and place one prismarine slab just like this. Then once we're done with that, we're gonna grab our diorite wall, place three walls like this, now we're going to go ahead and grab our green and brown gla uh, stained glass panes. We're going to go ahead and place two green, one red right here. On the walls back here, we're going to go ahead and place two brown and one... Wait, no, sorry. One brown and two red, just like this. And there we go. That is now the actual booths. Now we're going to go ahead and place some of the miscellaneous chairs and tables along with the main party room tables. So what we're going to go ahead and do is get rid of everything. Oh, except for our chains and our slabs. Go ahead, quickly grab your chains and your oak slabs. Make sure to keep those. And then we're also going to need our crimson stairs along with our bamboo signs. So just grab those. All right, this is all you're going to need for the rest of the dining hall. Right off the bat, we're going to go ahead and place one upside down chair. That's going to be just like this. On this stair right here, we're going to place one backwards and then place a bamboo sign in the back behind it. Skipping two blocks over, we're going to go ahead and place one chain oak slab with a chair right here along with a slab or along with a sign behind the chair. Then once, once we're done with that, we're going to skip two blocks again, place a chair facing this way. We're going to go ahead and skip two, place a chair here, skip two, place a chair here skip to place a chair here, chair there, and then we're going to have our four chains and a table that is going to be sitting right here. Behind all of these stairs, go ahead and place bamboo signs. Then once you're done with that, we're going to go ahead and actually, let's see, we're going to go ahead and come over to here. From this stair right here, that should be like right here, we're going to skip one over, place another backwards facing chair, and place a bamboo sign behind it. Then we're going to go ahead and skip one block over, place one, two, three, four chains, along with four slabs on top. Then we're going to go ahead and place one stair right here, one stair right here, and one stair right here. So they're going to be a little bit more connected together. Place our bamboo signs on the back of these stairs. Now, once you have done that, we're going to go ahead and actually come over to this stair, break this sign, and we're going to place a stair sitting right here. And we're actually going to go ahead and actually have these at an angle. So actually, real quick, break that. We're going to go ahead and skip three over. So from this block, one, two, three. On the actual fourth one, we're going to go ahead and place a stair facing this way. We're going to go ahead and skip two, place a stair here. Skip two, place a stair here. Wait, no. I messed up on this stair. We're going to go ahead and actually skip two, place a stair that should be right there. Yep, like that. Skip two, place a stair right here then skip to and place a stair right here. So it's going to look something like this, actually. Four chains in the middle along with our oak slabs on top to create the table. Then once we're done with that, we're going to go ahead and come back to here. We're going to place our one crimson stair right here. And we're going to have these going down at an angle. So one, two, three, four, five. And on the six is going to be a backwards facing one. And behind all these, we're going to go ahead and place our bamboo signs just like this. And anywhere like you can't really place a sign, that's totally fine. If it doesn't actually fit, just make sure you get them wherever you actually can. Just place them behind all of the chairs like this, and it should look something like that. Now, we're going to go ahead and actually grab our chains and place these lining up just like this. Now, we're going to go ahead and actually skip one, two, three at an angle. Place a chair facing this way like this, and then coming back facing this way, we're going to have these going all the way up until it matches right here. So just like that, place our chains going at this angle once again and stopping right here. Then we're going to go ahead and grab our, our uh, bamboo signs and just place these all along the back. 
And then we're going to go ahead and grab our oak slabs and just fill in this entire table. So place it like this. And you can just go ahead and walk down and fill up this entire party table. And that is one out of the two other party tables that we're going to still need to place. So we're going to go ahead and actually from this block right here, we're going to go one, two, three. Right here, we're going to place a backwards facing stair. And then we're going to have them facing this way and go all the way up until it just matches the rest of the table. So it's going to be doing that. Then we're going to go ahead and skip one, two, three. Place a chair facing this way. Then turn again and place a chair facing this way and go all the way up until it stops right there. Then going all the way down, we're going to go ahead and place our chains going down here. So one, two, three, four, five. And also on the back of the stairs, don't forget to add the bamboo signs. Then once you're done with that, grab your oak slabs and just go ahead and fill in the second party table, just like this. Then once you're done with that, we're going to go ahead and place one more table before we are finished. So from here, we're going to skip one, two, three, have a stair facing this way, then turn and face this way and bring this all the way up until it matches just like this. Do the same thing. We're going to skip one, two, three, have a stair facing this way, and then turn and place the chair right here and go all the way up until it matches just like this. On the back, make sure to add in all the bamboo signs just like this. And then we're going to grab our chains, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then with your oak slabs, just go ahead and fill in the last coffee table, or not coffee table, the last party table. And this is the fully completed and fully decorated dining hall area for the FNAF movie set. Whoop! There is one thing that I forgot to add. We're going to go ahead and grab our orange buttons. We're going to place one button here, one button here, and one button right here on the sides of Pirate Cove. That Oh wait, no. Sorry, I have them out of order. Two on the front, two on these sides right here, and two on these sides right here. There we go. Now Pirate's Cove is complete, and now the entire dining hall area is fully decorated. So we can go ahead and get rid of these chests and get rid of everything in our inventory. We're now going to go ahead and decorate the entire um, arcade area. So this should not take as long. Okay, never mind. I take that back. It's going to take as long. Maybe not as long. So, what we're going to go ahead and do is start with this bottom row right here. We're going to grab our red sandstone wall gray stained glass pane, polished black stone, polished black stone stairs, polished black stone slab, polished diorite slab, polished diorite stairs, waxed weathered cut copper slab, and then you know waxed weathered cut copper, and then waxed weathered cut copper stairs, along with birch trap door, dark oak sign, birch sign, warped sign, smooth quartz stairs, smooth quartz block, smooth quartz slab, and then stone button, chain, item frame, yellow stained glass, black stone slab, bamboo sign, mangrove sign, acacia sign, blue concrete, and bamboo slab. This is going to be for the first section of the actual arcade. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and grab our red sandstone wall and place one, two, three, four. And then on top of that, our gray stained glass pane place one, two, three, four right here. And then one, two, three, four walls on top of it. This is supposed to be a little, um, claw machine that's kind of at an angle it's pretty terrible but you know you'll kind of recognize what it is now once you're done with, done with that we're gonna go ahead and grab our polished black stone and right here we're gonna place block stair slab on top of it and then we can go ahead and get rid of these two because we do not need them anymore and with our dark oak sign we're just gonna go and say go ahead and go down one and this is going to say asteroids just like that oh sorry all caps just like that then we're going to go ahead and grab our orange dye, or, or yeah, glow ink sack and orange dye. And we're going to go ahead and dye this orange. Then we're going to go ahead and grab our uh, waxed weathered cut copper. We're going to play, we're going to skip one over, place block, stair, and slab. And then on top of that, we're going to grab our warped sign. And this one is going to say area 51. So we're going to go down one, all caps, area, and then space 51. Then this is going to be go ahead and this is going to be dyed yellow. So grab your yellow dye and make sure you um, use your glow ink sack on it. There we go. Then we're going to go ahead and grab our polished diorite where I got rid of the block. We're going to grab our polished diorite block and then we're going to go ahead and place block, stair, slab. On top of that, we're going to go ahead and grab our birch sign, and this one's going to be Pac-Man. So we're going to go under, we're going to go down one, do Pac-Man. And then we're going to go ahead and make this one green. So grab our green dye, just like that, and our glowing sack. 
and then make it glow. Now, once we've done that, we're going to go ahead and grab our item frame. And one thing I forgot to mention is our glass. So we can go, we're going to need to go ahead and grab our glass panes. We're going to place three item frames right here, three glass in it, and then three buttons right here. So these are going to be the arcade machines. Now we're going to go ahead and use our polished diorite. Oops, sorry. Polished diorite. Um, and we're going to make some more pinball machines. So we're going to go ahead. Hold on. We're going to go ahead and skip one, two blocks over. So from right here, one, two, three, actually. On the fourth, we're going to go ahead and place one upside down stair. And then we're going to go ahead and place another upside down stair like this. Then we're going to go ahead and from this block, skip one over, place an upside down stair and an upside down stair. And then lastly, we're just going to skip one over and it's going to be one more down, just like this. We're going to place stair, 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 slab, slab, slab. And then using our birch trap doors, just go ahead and place these right on top of it. And then with your stone buttons, go ahead and add these right down below. And there you go. Now, once we're done with that, we're going to go ahead and build the um, ski ball machine. Actually, real quick, before we do that, we're going to do um, two small little games that are right here in the center. We are going to grab our smooth quartz block, and we're going to grab all of these signs. The Acacia, Mangrove, um, Bamboo, and Warped. Now, we're going to go ahead and skip one block over from here. So, one and two, right here. Then, grab your polished... No, sorry. Regular Blackstone. Place that right on top. We're going to place Bamboo, Warped, Mangrove, and Acacia, just like this. Then once we're done with that, we're going to go ahead and grab our blue concrete and our bamboo slab. And we're just going to go ahead and skip one over again. Blue concrete, bamboo. Now once we're done with that, we're going to go ahead and build the um, pinball machine. We're going to go ahead and come back over to here. And we are going to grab our polish and insight stairs, mangrove stairs, mangrove planks, iron bars, lever, birch button, purple concrete. Uh, we'll see if the purple concrete, actually. Uh, for right now, we're just going to go ahead and actually grab the purple concrete um we, we need to actually use this real quick so we're gonna grab our purple concrete and we're gonna go ahead and come over to this corner and we're gonna place one two three four just like this with our mangrove stairs we're gonna place one two sorry one two three four and it, it should technically actually be facing this way so we're gonna have it face just like this and what we're gonna do is actually try and angle it so it will end up looking like this so try and do that. Make sure it looks something like this. And we're going to bring this almost down to the end. We're going to bring it so it's right to here. Two blocks away from this cyan concrete. Just do this for both sides. Just like this. And then our polished end and stairs. We're going to place one like this. One like this. One like this. And then one like that. Oop. One like kind of, kind of at an angle. Or it could honestly be like. I think no. This is actually best. All right. Now once we have that. We're going to grab our lever. And our polished and inside our polished blackstone slab and there's a camera that is going to be facing right here along with grabbing our birch button we're going to go ahead and um right above this block here so right there boom we're going to have a light that's going to be sitting right there now once we're done with that we're going to go ahead and grab our mango stairs and place one sorry one two three four just like this and then we're going to grab our mangrove planks and we're going to break these two or these four blocks in the back and then fill them up with the mangrove planks and actually break these four up above too and place them those planks there. Then we're going to place four upside down stairs just like this and then with our iron bars. So we're going to grab those now. We're going to go ahead and place one, two, three, one, uh, one. Let's see. Oh, okay. Okay. So I know what to do. Um, I'm pretty sure this may only be a Java thing. I don't actually know if this is Bedrock. But for Java, you have something called a debug stick. So if you were to do slash give your name debug stick, you are able to alter blocks. Um, I don't know. If this is not in Bedrock, then do not add the iron bars. Like if, if in, bet any Bedrock players here, if you do not have a debug stick, just don't add the iron bars. It's really just for kind of an extra decoration. But for Bedrock, for Java players, using your debug stick, you can right click and you can actually change the property of some of the actual blocks and actually change it so you can open up some areas right click to actually do that left click actually sh shows you what it actually is you can change which direction it will face um, we want it to actually be not waterlogged we want it to be this that way it kind of opens up the bar and kind of gives us an access to go actually you know throw a ball into there obviously you can't actually but it's just for a decoration and then just make sure you do this and there you go 
Now, once you have done that, once again, for Bedrock players, you, if you don't have a debug stick, don't worry about the Iron Bars, so just, just keep that in mind. Now, with our Bamboo sign, we're going to go ahead and do this. We're going to place a sign here. We're going to skip one row down and type Fred, and make sure you have a space in between, in, in between the two. Fred, F-R-E-D, and then right here, go down, and it's going to say Ball. Fred Ball. Now, once you do that, we're going to go ahead and grab our red die. And then we're also going to go ahead and grab our glow ink sack. Then once we have that, we're going to go ahead and make these red. And then just go ahead and copy these over. So we have something like that. And we don't need that anymore. So now that we have our little skee ball machine, we're going to go ahead and build um, the other stuff here. And then finish off the ball pit. So right before we do this, we're going to go ahead and grab our chains, our item frames, and our yellow stained glass. Now we're going to come right to these lights, and right here we're going to place one chain, one chain, item frame, yellow glass, item frame, and yellow glass. So it's going to look something like this. Now once you have that, we're going to go ahead and get rid of these three because we do not need these anymore. We're then going to go, go ahead and come back to the chest, and we're going to grab our prismarine slab, bamboo stairs, um, we're going to grab our spruce sign, our oak sign, we're going to grab our magenta terracotta, our brown terracotta, our stripped spruce wood, we don't need the glass anymore, and our stripped spruce stairs. We're going to leave all the concrete in here, because we'll do that for the ball pit. So what we're going to go ahead and do is break out these four blocks, just like this, and you can go ahead and place any block behind it, it doesn't matter because you're not going to see it. Place the pr dark prismarine slabs over here. We're then going to go ahead and place one, two, three, like this. Then one, two, three, like this. And then using the bamboo slabs, we're going to go ahead and place one, two, three, just like this. Now break out these four blocks right here. We're just going to go ahead and extend this roof a little bit over. And then grab our bamboo stairs once again and place one, two, three, four. And then we're going to actually go ahead and grab our black concrete. And we're just going to go ahead and place four right behind it. That way you can't actually get in. And that way it will end up looking something like this. So this is kind of like a little playhouse and then you, or like a little play area. And then you can go through here, what normally would be a slide, and would end up sliding down into the ball pit. Now once we've done that, we're going to go ahead and grab our um, stripped spruce wood, spruce stairs, uh, our spruce sign, and our oak sign. Once you have to, oh, and also the um, magenta terracotta and brown terracotta. We're going to place two stripped spruce, two stairs, a spruce sign, and this is going to say change. And then right below it, this is going to say $1 or, or $5. That's that's $5. And then um, this is going to say bills. Or no, we'll skip one more down. One more down. And say bills and coins. Just like that. Oh, that should be on here. Sorry. Change. And then we're actually going to skip two down. Then do $1 or five dollar then down one more bills or change there we go then we're going to go ahead and break these two blocks place one magenta terracotta one brown terracotta then we're going to actually grab our bamboo sign which i conveniently got rid of just grab the bamboo sign right up above it this is going to say surprise at every corner so all caps surprise at space every corner and this is going to be dyed yellow along with a glow ink sack so grab your yellow dye and grab your glow ink sack and dye it yellow then we're going to grab our birch sign and we're this is going to say freddy fazbear's pizza so freddy okay actually you sk uh, skip down one freddy fazbear's and then pizza. Now this does not have any color to it whatsoever, so that's just going to stay the original look. Now once we're done with that, we're going to go ahead and grab our iron bars again, and we're going to go ahead and place one, two, three, one, two, just like this, and bring this all the way up to the top until it goes like past right to here. Just go ahead and fill this in. Then once we got that, we're going to go ahead and grab our, we're going to need these lights again, so grab your chains, yellow glass, and item frame. What we're going to go ahead and do is come to this block right here, place one chain, skip one over, one chain, place your item frame, item frame, and yellow stained glass. Now, there is another thing that is, like, hanging right in the middle. Um, what I originally used is a custom player head, and there is nothing really else that I can do. Um, I could, honestly, if I wanted to, you could just grab red concrete, 
with an item frame and do that if you would if you wanted to um it does not really matter so i'm not going to go ahead and add it once we're done with that we're going to go ahead and get rid of all of this stuff all this everything we need now is just the concrete so grab all the all this concrete red yellow orange magenta lime cyan we do not need black or any of this so don't worry just these and what we're going to go ahead and do now is add some of the decorations on the side of the ball pit we're going to start with our lime we're going to place one lime one cyan one red then right here we're going to place one orange one magenta one red right here we're going to place one yellow one lime right up right up here we're going to place one lime it's going to be one cyan right down here and one cyan right here along with another orange right here so this is supposed to be red in this corner now once we've done that we're going to go ahead and grab our birch button these are going to be extra little lights we're going to have one light here and one light sitting right here now that we have done that that should be everything in the whole arcade area so we can go ahead and get rid of all this and we do not need this anymore we are now finished with the entire entrance the entire dining hall and stage and the entire arcade area now what we're going to go ahead and do is actually build or decorate the backstage now nothing nothing back here is ever decorated so don't worry about any of this but this is the next room that we're going to be doing and this is all of the materials that you are going to need so we're going to go ahead and grab our polished blackstone stairs polished blackstone slab polished andesite stairs polished andesite slab brown mushroom block gray concrete dark oak fence light gray concrete item frame iron trap door red concrete ladder polished and insight polished deep slate stairs birch trap door nether brick fence nether brick wall scaffolding polished diorite stairs and insight wall spruce trap door dark oak slab polished blackstone mangrove slab oak trap door yellow terracotta dark oak sign birch button diorite slab chain birch presser plate lever yellow concrete bamboo slab white carpet and a trip wire hook all of this will be used in this one small room so what we're going to go ahead and do is start in this corner right here so we're going to go ahead and grab our polished blackstone stairs and we're going to place one skip one and place one facing this way do the same thing here a second row and a third row just like this and then fill it in with your blackstone slabs we're going to repeat the same thing right here just like this the exact same shelf so it will look something like this now once you're done with that we're going to go ahead and grab our polished andesite stairs skipping one block over place one stair facing this way one stair facing this way with a slab in the middle and three slabs on top once you're done with that we're going to grab our gray concrete break these two blocks and place two here now with your mushroom block we're gonna actually break these two and place four here so when you place these mushroom blocks it will look something like this and when you place a block in front of it and then break it oh, sorry i meant using your mushroom block and then break it it will give you this texture and this is supposed to be like a, a pin board where you're able to like stick pins in these little holes this is the best design that i was able to actually find so we're gonna stick with that place your slabs back and it will look something like this now once we're gonna once we do that we're gonna grab our polished blackstone stairs and we're gonna go ahead and skip one block over and we're gonna place i just realized there was kind of a uh, slight mistake um this wall back here is supposed to be pushed back by one but since that would kind of take a little bit too much time what we're gonna go ahead and do is just move this over actually you know what you know what this will not take a lot of time just go ahead get rid of these two blocks what we're gonna do is just tear this out real quick you honestly yeah we have to tear this with this one out along with this right here once you have this torn out we're just gonna go ahead and break this one wall right here so this is supposed to be one further back along with this stuff right here this is kind of I did not mean to make this mistake and I just realized it just now this one wall is supposed to be pushed all the way back so go ahead just break this real quick and it will not take very long to actually move so I'll show you what this looks like or what it's supposed to actually look like so what we're gonna go ahead and do is actually just bring this out by one and we're gonna just go ahead and do the exact same thing just follow the exact same pattern just make sure it will look something like this it's just pushing the wall back literally by one block and then right here you can just go ahead and fill this in with stone it doesn't matter just like this then go ahead and raise this wall back up and once you have done that you are go ahead you are you're good to go all you have to do is just raise this up and then fill in this little gap in the wall all right then once you're done with that we can go ahead and now come back down 
and we can re we can go ahead and grab our blackstone polished blackstone stairs and slabs now we can go ahead and re-add this so stair stair make sure they are three rows high place three slabs in the center do the exact same thing like this then once you're done with that we're going to do the same thing we're going to skip one block over place two and inside stairs facing this way a slab right here now we're going to go ahead and break these two place gray concrete break these four place your mushroom block then place four more in front of it and then break them so it has this texture and then add three extra slabs right on top now that we have done that we're going to go ahead and grab our polished blackstone stairs and place another shelving unit so we're going to place one here skip one over place one here and then we're going to also make it three layers high just like this along with a slab with our dark oak fence we're going to go ahead and place fences going all the way up to the roof so it will look just like this then once we're done with that we're going to grab our light gray concrete and we're going to come to this block right here so skipping one from here skip one place two or no, sorry four like this four item frames and then grab your iron trap doors and place these all right here these are going to be little drawers actually break this one because we're going to grab our red concrete along with a ladder and place that right here then with our andesite we're going to grab our one block of polished andesite place one there along with a polished andesite slab now we're going to have another shelving unit that's going to be here except it's going to be at an angle so we're just going to go ahead and grab our stairs and do um right here actually am i flying i am an upside down stair upside down stair and upside down stair same thing right here stair 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 so it'll look like this then we're going to go ahead and grab our polished deep slate stairs and we're going to do the same thing just two layers only so one two just like this if i can place it and we're going to grab a birch trap door and place one uh, one trap door just like just like that we're then going to grab our nether brick fence and nether brick wall and skipping one block from here we're going to place two wall two fences and then one wall on top just like that then we're going to grab our scaffolding and our birch trap door again we're going to place one scaffolding here along with a birch trap door and this is going to be a little chair that's right here then we're going to go ahead and grab our polished diorite stairs along um, with our spruce trap doors we're then going to go ahead and place one two three four as a small shelving unit skipping one block up we're going to place one two three one two three of our spruce trap doors then we're going to grab one dark oak slab and place that right here along with our polished end in sight we're going to go ahead and place one here and we're actually going to go ahead and grab a skeleton skull so just go ahead and grab a skull and we're going to place that upside down make sure it's facing the opposite way so it'll look like that so this is supposed to be like one of those water things where you put like a cup under and you press it against something and it'll dispense water into so that's what this is supposed to be if you, in case you were wondering now once we're done with that we're gonna go ahead and get rid of the skull we do not need it anymore then we're gonna go ahead and grab our polished and insight slab we're gonna skip two blocks from this wall so one two on the third we're gonna go ahead and place one two one two one two one two so one two three four on the fifth we're going to go ahead and do one two three or well six in total then we're going to do then we're going to do one 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 just like that so we'll end up looking something like this or actually wait a minute yeah all right then once we have that we're going to go ahead and grab our polished blackstone and we're going to place one two in the back along with mangrove slabs on top two on top and then our iron trap doors we're going to place two right here now this is where the debug stick is going to come in handy again. So bedrock players, if you do not have a debug stick, don't worry about this. But Java players, we're going to go ahead and do slash give two butter biscuits debug stick. And we're going to go ahead and right click it until it says. Pretty sure. Oh, it's facing. Sorry. We're going to left click and until it says open, we're going to right click it. That way it does that. And we can go ahead and change this to facing and we can just change it to it until it looks like that make sure it says facing north then left click to actually change this and select it to open sometimes you, it may not be right all the time and that's fine you can just go ahead and change it trap doors are always kind of the trickiest when you use a debug stick so once we have that we're going to go ahead and get rid of that we're going to grab our regular oak trap doors and we're going to skip two blocks over we're going to place one two three four open these one two three four and open these just like that then once we're done with that we're going to grab our um not our nether brick we're gonna grab our dark oak fence and right on this block here we're just gonna place our fences going all the way up to the roof so it looks something like this 
Now, once we're done with that, we're going to grab our light gray concrete once again, and then we're going to go ahead and place one, two, three, four, along with our item frames and four iron trap doors within the item frames. Then with our spruce trap doors, we're going to go ahead and place one, two, three, one, two, three, just like this. Then using our yellow terracotta and dark oak sign, we're going to make some lockers. So placing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're going to go ahead and grab our dark oak signs and place these all along the bottom and all along the top. This is kind of a locker design that I was able to come up with, so just don't worry about it. Now once we're done with that, we're going to go ahead and grab our polished and insight stairs and polished and insight, along with a birch button and diorite slab. And then we're going to go ahead and grab one chain and a birch pressure plate, which we are going to need that. What we're going to go ahead and do is skip two blocks from this gray concrete, or yeah, light gray concrete, one, two. On the third, we're going to place a stair facing this way. Then polished and insight on top, along with a diorite slab. We're going to place a birch button right here, chain right here, and a birch pressure plate right here. Now once we have that, we're going to go ahead and grab our yellow concrete, along with a bamboo slab. And we're going to go ahead and actually skip one over, no, one, two, and then down one. Place a yellow concrete right here, along with a slab. Then we're going to grab our chain once again, our white carpet, and our iron trap doors. We're going to skip one down to place chain, carpet, and then trap door. Now, once again, this is a thing you are going to need a debug stick for. Um, th so this is basically supposed to be a little a stool. Um, Bedrock players, once again, you don't need it if you don't have a debug stick. It could just act as a stool, but Java players, we're going to go ahead and grab our debug stick. So slash give your name and then debug stick. And then just make sure this says um, powered. Right click it. Oh, sorry, not powered. Um, open. Right click it. And sometimes you may get it so it goes first try. Make sure it says, make sure it looks like that. Once you have that, we're going to grab our polished blackstone stairs and polished blackstone slab we're gonna make another shelving unit so right in between the gap right here we're gonna go all the way against the wall place one stair skip one one stair make sure that this is three layers high and then place your slabs within the center then we're gonna go ahead and actually skip three blocks so one two or one two three on the fourth we're gonna place another stair and then make another shelving unit that's also three layers high and then fill it in with your polished blackstone slabs. Then once you're done with that, we're going to go ahead and grab our yellow terracotta and our um, dark oak sign. We're going to place one, two, three, four, five, six yellow terracotta and then our dark oak sign. And these are going to be lockers. Once you're done with that, go ahead and grab your tri trip wire. And we're going to go ahead and make like little coat hangers pretty much. So that's what those are going to be. Once we're done with that, we're going to go ahead and make the torture Freddy chair. Um, we're not going to make the Freddy mask. I mean, we could. We could try something like that. Let's go ahead and get rid of these two things. We're going to go ahead and grab our polished blackstone stairs and our polished blackstone slab, along with an iron trap door and our end and sight wall. And we're going to need our skulls again. So go ahead and grab two of these. Then what we're going to go ahead and do is skip from this block. So right here on this one, we're going to skip one, two, three. On the fourth, we're going to go ahead and place one slab. So it uh, actually, sorry. One, two, three, four. On the fifth, we're going to place one back st backward stair, and then one forward-facing stair, so it looks like this. One slab facing forward. We're then going to go ahead and grab two end and sight walls, and then your skeleton skulls, just like this, facing backwards. Or actually, no, I recommend facing them in, that way you can't actually see the faces. So it looks something like that. Then once you have that, we're going to grab our iron trap door, and once again, we're going to use a debug stick. Slash give your name debug stick and then make sure that this says power no open and then make sure it looks something like that once you've done that that is the completed parts and service room um i'm pretty sure that is everything we could actually try to add the torture freddy mask if we wanted to i'm pretty sure it is hanging on by a chain we could use like let's see we could use a um brown terracotta as like a whole block i guess if you wanted to as like a head which we could do that, and then we actually, yeah, we can go ahead and do that, and we can use a sign, a spruce sign. So when someone's sitting here, we can use a sign, and we can make a face. So if we skip down one, we can go ahead and do a zero, and then space one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, zero. Go down one, and we're just going to go ahead and place, let's do like a, a period for our nose. Or actually, let's do an underscore for our nose. No, what would be something good for a nose? Uh, an O. 
No? All right. Let's go down two and then do a bunch of underscores. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> and this can be our little Freddy face. So we can go ahead and use that. And honestly, I think on the sides, if we go ahead and add in spruce trap doors, this could be, these could be like the ears or something. Just add like some more features to it. And this is the Torture of Freddy chair. I like it. I know the face is normally facing on this side. We could probably just grab it and place it there. Have it so it's facing that way. But to be honest, just I think I think it looks better when it's facing the chair. So we're going to go ahead and keep it like that. Once we have done that, we are fully completed with the parts and service room. And we are going to make our way into the hallways next. Now, the hallways are actually really, really easy to do. Because um, there's almost no decorations. As well, along with the hall closet, there's only a few shelves and that's it. Which is why this is all we need. We're going to go ahead and grab our polished blackstone slab, mangrove fence, spruce sign, lever, item frame, chain, yellow stained glass, polished and polished and insight slab, and polished and insight stairs. Now, once we have done that, there's only what there really is is just a few um roof decorations and then something just some signs along the walls. I'm pretty sure they're dark oak. No, they're spruce. And then here are just a few um in the parts of uh, the uh, hall closet, just a few shelves. So we're going to go ahead and start over here. So we're going to first go ahead and grab our lever, and we're going to place a camera right up in this top corner, and with a polished blackstone slab right on top of it. Then we're going to go ahead and grab our, um, let's grab our spruce sign. So what we're going to use these spruce signs for is place a, it's place spruce signs going all the way around these walls, all on the second block above. I'll show you what it looks like. We're going to go ahead and place a sign here, and we're just going to go ahead and copy this. And place it all along these walls. Yes, you obviously can't place them on these on this side, but that does not really matter. Just go ahead and have them going up and around down here. And we're going to go ahead and bring it around and stop right here. And then on the other side of the wall, it's going to be the same thing, except it's going to go all the way to the very end. So it'll look something like this. Go all the way around. It's going to stop right here. And then this will continue being placed going all the way down until it reaches this wall and bring it all the way across and stop right here. Now that we have this, we're going to go ahead and grab our mangrove fence, and we're going to come do this second block. So from right here, we're going to go up, skip one, two. On this second block, we're going to place fences going all the way across. Then we're going to go ahead and grab our chain, and from the center one, we're going to skip one, two. On this second block, place a chain, item frame, and yellow stained glass. Then with your mangrove fence, we're going to come all the way to this very end and place mangrove fences going all the way across like that. Then coming right down here, we're going to go ahead and place 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, just like this. And then what we're going to go ahead and do is come right to this corner. So from this corner here, we're going to skip one over and then skip one up. And we're going to place a chain, item frame, yellow stained glass, so it looks just like this. Then we're going to go ahead and grab our lever and we're going to place a lever right here with a polished blackstone slab on top of it like this as another camera. Then we're going to grab our mangrove fence and we're going to go ahead and come from this block and skip one more up. Placing right here, we're going to place 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we'll end up right at that corner. And we're going to do the same thing. Going right, right all the way across, just skipping straight across from here. We're going to do the same thing. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And that way it will connect up just like that. Then we're going to go ahead and come down to this side here. And we're going to skip 1, 2. On this block, we're going to place 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we'll end up in that corner. And then do the exact same thing, skipping all the way across, and just do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it'll end up right there. Then right in the middle, right on... So from this corner, we're going to go ahead and skip 1, 2, 3. And then on this block right here, we're going to place a chain, item frame, yellow stained glass. So it looks just like that. Then we're going to go ahead and go inside of the hall closet. And we're going to grab our polished and inside stairs. From here, we're going to go ahead and place 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. And then the same exact thing on this side, 1, 2, 3. One, two, three. Then with your chain, go ahead and place a chain, item frame, and yellow stained glass as a light. Then we're going to go ahead and go back outside, and we're going to grab our mangrove fences again. Then we're going to go ahead and come to this block and skip one, two, three, four. On the fifth, we're going to go ahead and place one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it looks like that. And we're coming in this block right here. We're going to skip one, two. Right in this center block, we're going to place a chain, item frame, and yellow stained glass as another light. Then we're going to go ahead and come all the way down to this end right here. And we're going to go ahead and place mangrove fences going all the way across like this. And then we're going to go ahead and add on to it. We're going to place 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, just like this. And then coming right from this block right here, we're going to place another chain, item frame, and yellow stained glass. So it looks just like this. 
Then we're going to go ahead and grab our polished and insight stairs and we're going to place one here. Skip two blocks over, place one right here. And then we're going to go ahead and fill this up by two more, by three more layers. So it is one block away from the roof. Fill this in with your slabs just like this. And then with your main grove fence, we're going to go ahead and add this going all the way across. So it looks just like that. And then we're going to go ahead and grab our, um, our, what is it, crimson stairs. Because that's one thing I did forget to mention. Crimson stairs and slabs. We're going to place a crimson stair here and a crimson slab on top of it as stacked chairs. And that should be everything for this entire hallway, including the little um, hall closet area. Alright, so for this next room, we're going to go ahead and grab this, all these stuff in this chest. We're going to grab our polished and insight stairs, tripwire hook, lever, polished blackstone slab, mud brick wall, iron bars, bamboo fence, polished deep slate wall, and, birch, and a birch button. This room is very small, so it does not require a lot of decorating. So we're going to go ahead and grab our polished and insight stairs and come up to this corner by a kitchen door. And we're going to place one, two, three, four, five, six polished and insight stairs like this. Skipping two blocks over, we're going to place two tripwire hooks. In this corner, we're going to go ahead and place a lever and a polished blackstone slab as a camera. Then on this block right here, we're going to place a mud brick wall with iron bars going all the way up to the top, just like this. Then turning back around, we're going to place a bamboo fence here and here, along with our polished deep slate walls going across the top so it looks just like that. And we're going to place a birch button right here as a small little light. Then once we're done with that, this entire room is all complete. We are now going to go ahead and move on to the kitchen. Now, in this kitchen, it's not really that big, so we only need this amount of these amount of stuff. So what we're going to go ahead and grab is our polished diorite stairs, polished diorite slab, gray wall, gr cyan terracotta, cobbled deep slate slab, polished andesite slab, birch sign, block of quartz, item frame, gray banner, polished basalt, polished blackstone button, diorite wall, heavy weighted pressure plate, which is also just known as an iron pressure plate, polished andesite stairs, cobbled deep slate, cobbled deep slate stairs, trip wire hook, iron trap door, oak stairs, oak slab, light gray terracotta, dead horn coral fan, ladder, jungle sign, light gray concrete, and a chain. So we're going to go ahead and start over here by the little ordering area. So we're going to go ahead and grab our polished diorite stairs and place a stair right here, coming up to this corner and place a stair right here, and then just connecting them with our polished diorite slabs just like this. Then with our gray wool, go ahead and break these two blocks here and these two blocks here, skipping one block in the middle, and replace them with gray wool. These are supposed to be little mats, but since they're at an angle, it does look a little bit weird, and there's really no avoiding that. Unless you kind of want to fill them in so it looks like this, you can definitely do that if you would like to. Now, what we're going to go ahead and do is move on to this side here. We're going to grab our birch sign, and we're going to place a sign right here, and we're going to skip one down, and it's going to be a sign that says exit, so make sure you have a space in between each letter. Then you can go ahead and grab your red dye, along with your glow ink sack, which, hold on, and we're just going to go ahead and make this sign glow red. There we go, now we don't need these anymore. Then we're going to go ahead and grab our scion terracotta. And we're going to go ahead and place 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8, 9, skipping one block here. And then our couple deep slate slabs on top. Then with our polished and insight slabs, go ahead and place three like this as a little shelving unit. Then go ahead and grab your cyan terracotta and skipping one block, we're going to place 1, 2, 3 again. And then with your polished basalt, we're going to go ahead and we're going to place 1, 2, 3, 4 with our couple deep slate slabs on top. And then we're using using our polished blackstone button, go ahead and place four, like this. Then with your block of quartz, place two right here that are going to be acting as cabinets. Grab your gray banner, place two item frames here, and two banners that are facing down, just like that. Then we're going to go ahead and grab our diorite wall and our iron pressure plate, and we're going to place one right here, along with our pressure plate right on top, like, like that. Then using our polished, di and polished and insight stairs, place one two just like this then place a cobbled deep slate slab on top and then go ahead and grab your two other uh, cobbled deep slate blocks we're going to place two stairs facing inward like this along with two cobbled deep slate blocks like that then grab go ahead and grab your trip wire hooks place two there and we can go ahead and grab a water bucket and we're going to go ahead and fill up fill this up as a sink then with your iron trap doors go ahead and place three iron trap doors above one two three just like this then go ahead and grab your polished and insight stairs once again, and your polished and insight slab, which I think I got rid of the stairs. Oh, wait, no, I didn't. Now we're going to go ahead and place one, two, 
three, four, five, and six, just like this as a shelving unit. Then with your oak stairs and your oak slabs, we're going to go ahead and place a stair here with a slab on top acting as stacked chairs. Then these four blocks right here, we're going to go ahead and break these, break, break these four just like this and place slabs right here. Then just go ahead and place two upside down stairs like this, two upside down stairs here and two on top. Make sure it is one block above, one block below the roof and then fill this in with your um, polished andesite slabs. Now, if this is not four blocks wide, let's, if it's three blocks wide for you, just go ahead and add another block to it so it ends up looking like this. That way it actually fits. Now that we are done with that, we're going to go ahead and grab our exit sign once again. And we're going to bring our exit sign right to this door here and place it right above here. That way it leads out into the small loading dock. Now, we're going to go ahead and build the little kitchen island area that's in the very center. We're going to go ahead and grab our light gray terracotta, our ladders, our jungle sign, our dead horn coral fan, and we're going to grab our gray wool as well, along with our light gray concrete and chains. Now, what we're going to go ahead and do is come over to this block right here. We're going to skip one, two, three, four, five. Then up one, we're going to place a block here, add two to the side, then on three to, add th to this side, and then just go ahead and bring this around and fill this in. Once you have got that, just go ahead and grab your dead horn coral fan and place these randomly to act as plates or stacked plates if you would like. I'm just going to go ahead and place them around just like that. Then with your ladder, go ahead and come on to this side here, place a ladder here with your jungle sign going all the way down until it meets right to here. And then your gray wall is going to be placed right here, one, two, three, four. Go ahead and repeat that same thing on this side, ladder, jungle signs going all the way down, and then your four gray wool just like this then go ahead and grab your polished gyrite stairs and we're going to place one two like this acting as a small table then once you're done with that we're going to go ahead and grab a flower pot actually and i realize i used custom player heads to act as actual like cooking pots but since flower pots look a lot like them you can go ahead and place these randomly around to act as like either cups or cooking pots once you're done with that we're going to go ahead and grab our light gray concrete and our chains and we're going to go ahead and copy this exact same thing here up on the roof. So for starting at this block straight up, go ahead and just mimic this exact same, exact same thing. Four blocks here, make sure it's exactly lined up and just replicate this same thing. This is supposed to be like an oven hood kind of where, um, you know, all like the steam gets sucked out into the, you know, into the world. Then just go ahead and grab your chains and place these all the way around. This is supposed to represent um, where you are able to hang pots and pans and whatnot on the roof. Now once you are done with that, we're going to go ahead and add in the lighting for this room so we can go ahead and get rid of everything. Grab our sea lanterns and iron trap doors. And we're going to come up to the roof. So we're going to break our way out and we're going to go up to the roof. And since you should have this gray spot right here, we're going to go ahead and come to this corner here and skip three blocks down. One, two, three. On the fourth, we're going to go ahead and place one, two, just like this. Then on the same corner block, we're going to skip two left, one, two. On the third, we're going to place one, two, just like this. Coming up to this top block right here, we're going to skip up one block and skip one, two, three, four to the left. And on the fifth, we're going to place one, two, just like that. Then right here, we're going to go ahead and do the same thing, skipping three blocks up, one, two, three. On the fourth, we're going to place two blocks here. And then lastly, on this block that's in the center, we're going to go ahead and skip two to the right. One, two. And on the third, we're going to place two blocks here. Now, going back down under, just go ahead and grab your trap doors and place them on top of the sea lantern to just cover it up. And then once you have done that, you are fully finished with decorating the entire kitchen. Now, the last thing that we are going to decorate is Mike's, or, or is Mike's office and the hallway that is sitting right here. So let's do the hallway next. We're going to go ahead and grab our white concrete, brown concrete, light blue concrete, red concrete, red terracotta, light blue terracotta, warped sign, mangrove sign, smooth sandstone, crimson stairs, oak trapdoor, birch sign, dark oak sign, lever, and our polished blackstone slab. We're going to go ahead and grab our brown concrete and coming to this door right here, we're going to skip two blocks over, one, two. On the third, place a brown concrete and light blue concrete above. One block over, place a red concrete and light blue terracotta above. Then with your mangrove sign, we're going to go ahead and skip down. Sorry, we're going to place a sign and then skip down one, then type Freddy Fazbear's, and then go down one pizza. Once you have done that, go ahead and grab your orange dye. 
and also your glow ink sack. We're gonna go ahead and make this glow orange. We can go ahead and get rid of that. And we're gonna have this sign right here as well on this red, just like that. Then we're gonna go ahead and grab our warped sign. This one is going to, we're gonna skip down one and this is going to say leaning, all caps by the way, tower of pizza, just like that. And then this one is going to be down one and in all caps it's gonna say foxy saves the kingdom. Once you have done that, go ahead and grab your orange dye once again, and also your glow ink sack, and make both of these glow, just like that, and then you can go ahead and bring these back. Then we're going to go ahead and grab our crimson stairs, and we're going to place one right in this corner right here, facing this way. We are then going to go ahead and grab our smooth sandstone and place one here, along with a light blue terracotta on top. Then we're going to go ahead and grab our Freddy Fazbear's pizza sign and just place that right here again. And then using our jungle sign, which is a sign that I forgot to mention, we're going to grab our jungle signs. This one is going to say pizza as hot as Egypt. And we're going to go ahead and make that one glow as well. So we're going to grab our orange dye and our glow ink sack and make that glow. Once we're done with that, we're going to grab our oak trap doors and our birch sign, along with also our dark oak sign and... Uh, the lever and polished blackstone slab. We're gonna place one, two, three, four uh, trap doors right here and flip them up. This is supposed to represent the employees of the month with the little holes representing, you know, that has the picture of the employees. And right up above, we're gonna go ahead and type employees of the next sign is gonna say the month, just like that. Then we're gonna go ahead and grab our lever, place a lever here along with a polished blackstone slab on top, just like that. And we're going to go ahead and place actually dark oak signs all along this side right here. Then we're going to grab our birch sign and this is going to say exit. So we're just going to type exit. And we're going to go ahead and make that glow red. So grab your red dye and your glow ink sack. And there we go. Then just go ahead and place that second sign right there. Once you're done with that, we're going to go ahead and grab our black concrete, which is one thing that I... No, sorry, our red concrete. And we're going to place two blocks right here of red. Now, we're going to be going ahead and making a custom banner. So, go ahead and grab a brown... Sorry, no. Go ahead and grab a loom. Then, you're going to grab your blue dye, brown dye, and yellow dye. Then, you're going to go ahead and grab a brown banner. We're going to place a loom right here. And, we're going to grab our brown banner and place our blue dye in here. We're then going to find the banner pattern that has a line on the left side. So, it should look like this. And then we're going to go ahead and place our yellow die back in and find the banner pattern that is on the right side. And it will look just... where is that? Right here, it will look just like this. Now since I have my shaders on, for some reason the banner pattern doesn't show up. So I'm going to go ahead and just turn that off real quick. There we go. Now you're actually able to see the banner pattern. So now that we have that, we're going to go ahead and actually keep this banner pattern. Just go ahead and get rid of everything else. And we're going to save this banner pattern because we are going to need it for Mike's office. Now that we have this hallway done, we're going to make our way inside of Mike's office, and we're going to grab all of this stuff. We're going to grab our polished blackstone stairs, polished blackstone slab, blackstone, cobbled deep slate slab, black concrete, polished andesite stairs, spruce stairs, painting, target, green terracotta, terracotta, item frame, green banner, light gray concrete, light gray banner, spruce trap door, dark oak stairs, chisel bookshelf, cyan terracotta, Iron Trap Door, Dark Oak Sign, Chain, Polished Andesite Slab, Bamboo Button, Stone Button, and Andesite Wall. What we're going to go ahead and do is grab our Blackstone and place 1, 2, 3, 4 Blackstone in the corner with a Cobbled Deep Slate Slab on top. We're then going to go ahead and grab our Black Concrete and place 2 Black Concrete right here. And now with our banner that we saved, place that banner that is sitting right there. Then we can go ahead and get rid of that because we do not need it anymore. <laughs> Then go ahead and grab your polished blackstone stairs, and we're going to place one, two, stairs are right like this. Skip two blocks over, place one, two, and then fill this in with the slabs. Now obviously, since we are not using any custom player heads, this is going to just be an empty desk, because we, we will not have the fan, the phone, the, the um, monitors, we won't have any of that. But we can go ahead and just place a singular painting that is sitting right here, along with a few other paintings that we can go ahead and place as well. Just go ahead and make sure that they are random, and not the same every time. We can place like two like that. Then just go ahead and place one, two, three, four, 
5, and 6. Polished and Insight Stairs has a shelving unit on the side. Now we're going to go ahead and grab our spruce stairs and skipping one block over, place a stair here, black concrete and a painting right there. Then go ahead and skip two blocks over and we're going to place another stair. And then we're going to go ahead and grab our green concrete and green banner, place a green concrete here. Or sorry, green terracotta, I meant. Then we're going to go ahead and grab our item frame, item frame there, and our green banner that's going to be facing to the left, just like that. Just like that. Then with our target block, we're going to go ahead and place a target block right there. Then we're going to go ahead and grab our um, spruce trap door and our light gray concrete along with our light gray banner. We're going to go ahead and place two light gray concrete here, item frames, and our banners that are going to be facing to the right, just like that. Actually, no. One, this one's going to be facing inward, so it can be looking. It's going to be like that. These are supposed to be like two cabinets that you can open up. Then, with our spruce trap doors, go ahead and place these along the side, just like this, and it will look something like that. Then, once you're done with that, we're going to go ahead and grab our chiseled bookshelves, cyan terracotta, dark oak sign, and we already and also our chains, polished and insight slab, dark oak stairs. And we are going to need our two buttons, our bamboo and stone. So with your chisel bookshelf, go ahead and place one, two, three, four, five, six, like this, along with three spruce trap doors along the side, so we will cover that up. Then place six cyan terracotta with two dark oak signs going across the top. We're then going to go ahead and need our item frames and iron trap doors one more time. Two item frames here and two iron trap doors facing to the left. Then go ahead and grab a, just grab a book and quill, so we're going to go ahead and fill up these bookshelves. You can go ahead and place these randomly wherever you would like to, just go ahead and fill these up, and just, just to, you know, make them look filled. We can go ahead and just keep them like this. Then go ahead and with your chains, we're going to go ahead and skip one block over from here, and place four chains in the center, along with four polished andesite slabs. Then we're going to go ahead and place two dark oak stairs on each side like this with one right here and a green banner on the back representing a jacket that is hanging on, on the side of the on like the back of the chair. Then we're gonna go ahead and grab our dark oak stairs and place one, two, just like this. We're then gonna go ahead and place a light gray banner right here, a bamboo button on top, a stone button to the side, and our and in sight wall on the side just like that. And with all of that done, that is the entirety of Mike's office complete and the entirety of the in of the entire pizzeria all completely built and decorated. So now that we are fully finished with that, there is one more thing that we are going to be doing, and uh, if you can't tell by now, it's going to be the lighting. Now, for Bedrock and Java players, you both have this command. You are able to do slash give your type in your username, and then do Minecraft colon light. And that just light, that's it. And then it will give you this light bulb, which you are able to place around and it will emit a light source. And obviously, if you were to swap to another like another item slot, the light will vanish that way. It just has a light source here. And we're going to be using that to decorate or to add lighting to the entire pizzeria. So I'm going to go ahead and give myself some night vision so we are able to do this. Now that, now that we have this, we're going to start go ahead and start with the button lights. So the bamboo lights are the ones that are active. We're going to go ahead and hold down. We're going to go ahead and um, crouch and uh, place a block of light that is right here. Then just go ahead and we're going to right click it and that will turn the light off and that will set it to a tick of zero or a light level of zero. We're going to go ahead and set it to seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Give it a sec. The number will change. And there we go. Now that it says 7, go ahead to actually copy it for, um, just go ahead and, um, middle click, or whatever, whatever button for, you know, Java players, middle click, and that will copy it for Bedrock. I don't really know what the thing is to copy it. You'll, if you don't know how, if you don't know how to copy it, just go ahead and you'll just do it manually. But for Java players, go ahead and, and Bedrock players, go up, go to all of the bamboo buttons and just go ahead and place the light level 7 blocks on every single um, bamboo button that you see, even like these block, even like the birch buttons too, birch buttons as well. And same here within the ball pit. I'm just gonna go ahead and place these here just to light it up. And once once I have them in, I will turn off my night vision. That way we're actually able to see what it looks like. But just find every bamboo button and birch button that is in the main pizzeria, and just go ahead and place these blo these light blocks here. That way it will emit light. Now since we have those, I'm gonna go ahead and turn off my night vision. And it will look something like this. Obviously, it's not really well lit right now because we don't have all the lighting in. Now that we have that, we're going to go ahead and add all the lighting for the hanging lights. 
So we're going to go ahead and what we're going to do, obviously we can't, even if we crouch and try and place, a, place it, it does not work. So we're going to go ahead and have to stack up to these blocks and it, we're going to place a light level of actually 8. So we're going to go ahead and reset it and we're going to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So instead of 7, it's 8. And just go ahead and we can go ahead and copy that and that's what that is, that is going to be. And we're just going to place these below where all of the hanging lights are. So any light that you can find, just go around the entire pizzeria, even in some of the other rooms. Some, some of the other rooms, like the hallways in the back, they have the hanging lights as well. And we'll go ahead, we'll go back there, and we'll add all those lighting in. But for right now, find all of the hanging lights that you can, and just go around the entire pizzeria. And place these lights. Even in, even in here, even though this is well lit, still just go ahead and place them. It will still add extra lighting, that way it's easier to see. Right here. Right here we don't really exactly need lights, because... You know, it's pretty easy to see, but we're just going to add them anyway. And then all the hanging lights that are right here. The light that's right here. Now, obviously, once we have all of the lights in for the hanging lights, it's still not well lit in the center. So what we're going to go ahead and do is come up to, no matter what the lights are, no matter like if it's quartz or if it's bamboo, the quartz are supposed to represent the lights that are turned on, and the bamboo are supposed to represent the lights that are turned off. Since there, it obviously won't really light up that much, that much we're just going to place them anyway so coming over to one of the lights we're just going to go ahead and set this to a block of eight or nine so one two three four five six seven eight we'll go ahead and do eight actually and we're going to st stick with a and place all the light level blocks of eight on both blocks like this go around the entire pizzeria and just place these around and we can also go ahead and place them right here in the center just to kind of light up this area a little bit then go ahead, um, since in the back there are supposed to be spotlights that are in the back, so we're just going to go ahead and grab our light level of 5. So we're going to set it to 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Or in fact, what would 7 look like? 7 actually could work. So just place 7 light level blocks all across the back. Same with Pirate Cove. Place 3 right here. And we can also just go ahead and kind of place them on the stage. These are, I'm going to set to 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And we can just go ahead and kind of place these on the stage. That way it lights up the stage a bit more. And obviously, since in this area it's not really well lit, you can place the light level of 5 blocks going all the way around the um, actual actual main party area. Um, it will light up the entire area and make it a lot easier to see. You don't have to place a ton. Um, you can just place as much as you want, really, to kind of light it up. Even on the tables, you can go ahead and place some on the tables if you would like, just to get this really well lit. And once you are done, once you think you have a good amount of light... You can just go ahead and stop and obviously once you swap to a different slot all of the lights will disappear and leave you with a well-lit area we can go ahead and add a few more maybe around the stage to light it up same with foxy's pirate cove to kind of place these around and then once we have that we're going to go ahead and actually go to another area um some of the other areas backstage there has there doesn't have to be any light back here you could add some if you want to this is already well lit back here, but the hallway is where it's going to need some light. So all of the hanging lights, go ahead and grab your light level of 7 blocks and place these all here on each individual hanging light. There's one right here. Also, don't forget to place the one that is in um, the hall closet. And then just continue placing them going down. Some areas are not going to be fully lit and that's totally fine. It gives the place a little bit more of an ambiance or ambience. Here we don't need any lights, the kitchen we don't need any lights, and the hallway along with Mike's office we do not need any lights. And with that, that should be everything now fully decorated, fully built and complete, and fully lit with light. Now, we are fully finished with the entire inside of the pizzeria. The th last thing that we are going to need is to build the outside. So what we are going to go ahead and do is just build the very front of the entire pizzeria with the sign and everything. The signs you never and the signs and the roof you never really see in the movie. So what you could go ahead and do is truly just add bricks going around the sides just to cover up all the walls, and the roof could be just smooth stone. Just could be smooth stone. It does not really matter because we never really see it. But we of course see the front. So we're going to build the front of the entire pizzeria, and that is going to be the end of this entire tutorial for the FNAF movie. So let's go ahead and get started. So, the things that you're going to need to build the entire outside of the pizzeria, we're going to go ahead and grab stone, purple terracotta, wax oxidized cut copper, yellow terracotta, block of lapis lazuli, bricks, oak button, lever, polished blackstone slab, 
red concrete, bamboo slab, bamboo trapdoor, acacia sign, warped sign, white concrete, block of quartz, coal block, spruce slab, spruce stairs, spruce trapdoor, oak planks, polished blackstone button, red nether brick red nether brick slabs, cyan concrete, cyan concrete powder, warped slab, iron bars, cyan terracotta, end stone brick wall, warped stairs, warped planks, dark oak sign, and a birch sign. So what we're going to go ahead and do is, first of all, grab our stone. And what we're going to actually do is go ahead and place six stone like this. It is going to actually come out by three blocks. So we're going to go ahead and have a sidewalk that is going this way and a sidewalk going this way. But before actually doing that, we're going to go ahead and build the whole wall first. So actually go ahead and bring this out by four blocks because this is going to be end up, this is going to come one block out. We are going to go ahead and place one, two, one, two, purple terracotta. With our bricks, we're going to place one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And we're going to go ahead and bring this up by one, two, three, four, five, five, and I think the six is actually a brick slab. That is one thing I forgot to mention, is grab your brick slabs. And we're just going to go ahead and bring this all the way up until it is one, until it is matched with the roof of the pizzeria, and bring it up by one more slab. And we're just going to bring this one block back, just like this. Same thing on this side, bring this all the way up. And then bring this back by one with slabs on top, so it looks just like this. Then we are going to go ahead and grab your waxed oxidized cut copper. Two here, bring this out. And then our yellow terracotta going to be doing the same thing, except only going two layers high. Because the next layer is going to be lapis lazuli. On top of that, we're going to place another layer of yellow terracotta. Then what we're going to go ahead and do is actually bring this out by one extra block. We're then going to bring this out fully by one extra layer. Come in and bring this by one extra layer, and then one more and one extra layer. It will look something like this. With your oak buttons, we're going to go ahead and actually start placing one, two, three, four, five. We're then going to do that two more times. And on the last one, one, two, three, so it looks just like these. So it looks just like this. Then once you're done with that, we can actually go ahead, if you would like to, is just break this. That way we have a clear entrance that goes right inside of the pizzeria. Now, once we are done with that, we are going to go ahead and grab our um, lever. We're going to place a camera that is sitting right here, so it will look just like this. Now, we're going to go ahead and actually build the Freddy Fazbear sign. So, we're going to go ahead and grab our red concrete, bamboo slab, bamboo trap door, warp sign, acacia sign, and we're going to go ahead and grab our block of quartz, white concrete, coal block, and we're going to grab our... Well, let's stick with that for right now. So right in the center, we're going to go ahead and come from here and skip two blocks out. One, two. Place a red concrete here. And then place this going all the way to the end so it will look like this. And same with same thing on this side. Then with your slabs, go ahead and place slabs under. And all on top. With two bamboo trap doors along the sides, just like this. Then once you've done that, place a warp sign here. And acacia signs going all the way across of the red concrete, just like this. Then once you have done that, we're going to go ahead and come onto the back. Now since you're never really going to see the back, and since you're going to always be kind of down here, you won't really be able to see up there. So what we're going to go ahead and do is place two white concrete on both sides of the sign. We're then going to place a coal block here. Then we're going to go ahead and grab our spruce slabs and our spruce stairs. We're going to go ahead and place a slab. We're then going to place block of quartz right here. And then two extra spruce slabs just like this. Then we're going to go ahead and place a stair on top of this right here, along with two extra slabs here, and then two slabs right here, along with a block of quartz on top. And then once you have done that, place two, or yeah, place, um, sorry, this right here is going to be a stair. So two stairs like this, two slabs on top with one slab here. This is going to be, this is Freddy's arm, this is his glove, this is his other glove right here. Then we're going to go ahead and place one, two, three slabs like, no, one, two slabs like this. Two stairs facing each other, just like this, along with a oak plank and a black stone, polished black stone button right there as his nose. Then for his ears, we're going to grab our spruce trap door, and his ears are going to be looking a little bit weird. We're going to be, we're going to grab our um, trap doors. We're going to place some blocks here just to help, you know, support it. Two trap doors and flip them up. It may end up looking a little bit weird. Um, what I used in my original app, original map are custom player heads, but since we're not using that, these are going to be Freddy's ears, and he kind of, to be honest, kind of looks like Mickey Mouse, but at the same time, it does not really matter. And his top hat, we can't add a top hat because we can't place a block that's in the middle. It would end up looking pretty weird. Even if we tried using a wither skull, 
if we were to grab a weather skull and we and try placing it on top it it just wouldn't it wouldn't look right it would not um so we're not going to be going ahead and adding his top hat now that we have the sign complete we're going to go ahead and actually grab our um we're going to continue working on the walls here so go ahead we can move everything back grab your bricks yellow terracotta purple terracotta lap block of lapis lazuli um our birch sign we're gonna grab our birch sign a dark oak sign our block of coal and our quartz block um block of quartz and our red nether brick stairs so i'm uh, sorry red nether brick slab so we're gonna go ahead and grab our purple terracotta and we're gonna place 16 blocks going this way 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 like this then we're going to go ahead and grab our block of coal and, and our quartz. And we're going to be doing this checkerboard pattern just like this. And on top of that, if you want to add some extra detail, we can add a birch sign here and a dark oak sign here. So dark oak on the quartz, birch on the coal. And this will kind of give it more of a checkerboard pattern if you would like to do that. I'm going to do that because I think it will definitely, definitely look nice. So go ahead, bring this all the way to the end. And you kind of have this checkerboard pattern like that. Then with your yellow terracotta, bring this up by two extra blocks and bring this all the way across. And then using your lapis lazuli, bring this all the way across with one extra layer of yellow terracotta on top. Once you have done that, I realize that this is actually supposed to be a full block of bricks, not slabs of bricks. So blocks of bricks on this side, blocks of bricks on this side. Then with your red, red nether brick slabs, bring this all the way across and it should end up looking like this. Same thing right here, you can do it on the back, just like that. That way you have something like this, and then with your bricks, you can do the exact same thing. Place one, two, three, four. Bring this all the way up to the top until it reaches this, so it will end up looking like that. Now that we have that, we're going to go ahead and repeat this exact same thing onto this side here. 16 blocks of your purple terracotta. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Then go ahead and add your block of coal, and then quartz, and just bring this all the way to the end. And then once you've done that, use your signs to fill in the rest, and make it like make it look like a checkerboard pattern. Then raise this up with two yellow terracotta, along with a one layer of block of lapis lazuli on top, and then one extra layer of yellow terracotta. Then once you've done that with your red nether brick slabs, go ahead and bring this all the way across until it looks just like this. Now, also, oh, and also your bricks here. So, one, two, three, four. Raise this all the way up until it reaches this right here. So, it will end up looking something like that. Now, we're going to go ahead and add the two extra sides here. That way, it will finish covering up everything. Now, some parts, I hope, I'm, I'm pretty sure that it will cover up all of this. So, we're going to go ahead and start on this side first. Now, since we have this, we are going to go ahead and grab our cyan terracotta. We're going to go ahead and get rid of these two. We're going to grab our iron bars our end stone brick wall we can give it to these signs and grab your warped stairs and warped planks we're gonna first off by going ahead by placing one two three uh wait i'm pretty sure it um sorry we're gonna go ahead and place one two three layers of end stone brick wall now this is gonna end up looking a little bit weird because you are you are going to be able to see some of the walls that that are here there's really nothing that you can do about it unless you want to move this whole wall forward which would end up making it look a little bit inaccurate so we're just going to go ahead and end up doing this anyway. Now that we have this, go ahead and skip two blocks ahead. One, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three. It will look like this. Place a upside down stair, upside down stair, right here. Warped plank in the middle with planks going all the way across the top so it looks like this. Then with your iron bars, bring, actually no, sorry, your cyan terracotta. Go ahead, fill this area in right here. And then bring your iron bars going across the top and make sure this is three layers high. And yes, it does look a little bit weird, and unfortunately, there's nothing that we can really do about it. So we're just going to go ahead and continue on with it and just continue building. Once you have this, though, we're then going to go ahead and grab our cyan concrete and cyan concrete powder. Concrete, powder, concrete, powder, concrete, powder, concrete. So we'll end up looking like this along with... Actually, no, we're going to stop right there for right now. Once we have that, we're actually going to go ahead and with our cyan concrete... We're going to go ahead and place um, right here, one, two, three, four, five, cyan. Then we're going to place two more, or four more bricks, so it looks just like this. Now these here, these are going to get raised up, so right now we're just going to bring this down so it matches up with this. And we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to bring this up so it matches up with 
this, so it looks like that. Then once you have done with that, we're gonna go ahead and bring our cyan concrete all the way up, one block below the bricks, and with our yellow terracotta, we're gonna go ahead and fill this in, and we're gonna bring it one block out like this, and then one more block in, and it will end up looking like this. It will be a lot shorter. Then we're gonna grab our oak button and place one button right here as a singular light. We're then gonna go ahead and grab our bricks and raise this up by six blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six. Same exact thing here, raise this up by six blocks. Just like this. Then with your warped stairs, go ahead and bring this up by four layers. One, two, three, four. Along with one layer of yellow terracotta and the final layer of red nether brick slabs on the top, and it will end up looking just like this. Now, once you are done with that, we're gonna go ahead and bring this back by, um, we're gonna bring this back by six blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, and raise this up all the way to the very top, so it will look just like this. And you can do the same exact thing here too, let's bring this all the way back. Then once we are done with that, we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing on this side. So, let's go ahead and get started on here. Then we're gonna go ahead and grab our end stone brick wall, and we're gonna do the same thing. One, two, three, skip two, one, two, three, skip two, one, two, three. Now since this wall is a little bit further back, we are able to grab our bricks and actually make this a full, complete, like, little area here. We're gonna go ahead and bring this brick, these bricks all the way up to the exact same height here. This is one block out, actually. And we're gonna, we're gonna bring this up to the exact same height as this here. Then we're gonna go ahead and grab our warped stairs, place a stair here, stair here, warped planks in the center with that same thing across the top, along with our cyan concrete too. So we're gonna place concrete, powder, concrete, powder, concrete, powder, concrete, just like that. Then once we are done with that, we're gonna go ahead and raise this up all the way to the very top, and we're gonna raise it up right to here. Once we are done with that, just go ahead and fill this in with the bricks, and it will end up looking just like this. Then, with your iron bars, go ahead and bring this all the way across, and raise this up by two more. Then, once you are done with that, we're gonna go ahead and actually, um, grab our cyan concrete and do the exact same thing over there. One, two, three, four, five. Then bring this all the way up until it reaches, until it is one block below here. And right here, we're going to go ahead and bring this down, actually. Just like that size. So we're going to bring this down, make sure this is one block below, and then we're going to do the same thing with the bricks on this side. Bring this one block to here. Now, this is two blocks out. Um, if you want, you, you are able to actually extend this. I did not mean to break that. You are able to extend it if you would like and bring this out by two more or three more. That way, the bricks are able to do this, and you're able to actually form a wall going down here. So you definitely can do that if you would like, and for right now, just to make it so it actually fits, I am going to do that. Now that we have that, we're going to go ahead and grab our yellow terracotta, bring this all the way across, just like this, and just come one block out, and then one more block in, like this, with a oak button that is sitting right in the center, or somewhere near the center, just like that. Obviously, it is going to look a little bit weird because it does not fit. Or if you would like, you could bring this out a little more, a little more. That way, this doesn't, this isn't so stretched out. But since I did not do that, I'm just gonna stick with this. Now that we have that, go ahead and bring your bricks up by six blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just like that. Same thing here. Bring this up until it matches this side. Then with your stairs, we're gonna add four layers of the warped stairs, just like this. Then once you have done that, grab your yellow terracotta, add one layer across the top with your with one layer of red nether brick slabs across the top until it looks something like this. Now, for the roof that we're going to go ahead and place across the top, we're going to go ahead and come over to this side, and we're going to place one layer, or it doesn't matter what it is, as long as it's a solid block, so just place cyan going all the way across to here. We are then going to go ahead and grab our warped slabs, and place one layer of warped slabs going all the way across, just like this. Then we are going to go ahead and place um, another layer right below here, that way it will hold up the concrete powder that we are going to have. Then we're going to go ahead and place concrete, powder, concrete, powder, going this, going in this exact same pattern all the way to this end, and it will go all the way across here. 
Now right here you can fill this in if you would like to. It does not really matter because you are not going to see it, but just for this purpose I'm going to go ahead and place this in. And we're going to do the exact same thing, just by bringing this out by two extra layers, just like this. Bring this all the way to the end, until it sits right here. Then have one layer of the warped slabs, just like this. Then once you have that, just use your concrete and your concrete and your concrete powder and continue this little pattern going all the way to this end. And then once you get to here, we're going to go ahead and actually grab our bricks and do the same thing we did over there. From here, we're just going to fill this up and go out by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, like this. Bring this all the way up to the very top. Then we're going to go ahead and grab our warped slab and have another layer of warped slabs going across the top, just like this, going all the way to this end. Then once we have done that, we are going to go and bring our concrete out all the way to this end. That way it has a layer below where we are able to place our concrete powder on. So just do this all the way to this end. Then once you have done that, we're going to go ahead and <clears throat> grab our concrete and concrete powder again. And just do this exact same pattern, just going all the way down. And then the same thing here, we will have our warp slabs going across like this. And then on this final part, we're going to go ahead and have this here, along with our same pattern of the concrete and concrete powder. But on top is going to be a warp slab, and that is where it is going to stop. So go ahead, bring this all the way to this end, and stop right there, and I will show you what it looks like once it is done. So I will be right back. Now, once we are done with that, this is what the finished product should end up looking like. Once you... Once you are done with that, we are going to go ahead and grab our stone, and we are going to fill in this sidewalk here. So from here, just go ahead and bring this all the way across. Make sure it is three blocks wide, just like this. Make sure this goes across on both sides and not just one. And once we actually get it to this spot here, we're going to grab our cyan terracotta, and I'll show you what we need that for in a sec. Go ahead and just bring this to the end right real quick. Then once you are done with that, we're going to go ahead and grab our cyan terracotta. And right here, this is what we are going to fill in with the cyan terracotta. So you can kind of, you can go ahead and go on the inside if you would like to. And fill this in with all cyan terracotta. And also do the same thing on the other side as well once you actually get there. And this is what it should end up looking like. Do the exact same thing here. I'm just going to go ahead and do that real quick. Just bring this all the way to the end. So it looks something like this. And then we'll, right here, we'll also place our cyan, um, cyan terracotta, just like that. Obviously, this is a little bit weird because, you know, it kind of blends into the build. On this side, it doesn't. Once you have done that, that is everything. Um, obviously, you are able to go ahead and just add this wall. Fill it, fill it in with bricks going all the way around and around the back. Um, since we never actually see it in the movie... Um, there's really nothing I know of what to do, and the best thing I would recommend is definitely just building it in with bricks around the sides, and then the roof could honestly, it could be the same pattern here, it could be this, or you could just have it as, um, smooth stone, you could do that. Um, now if you are wondering, so, on the inside, there are, are of course, these doors, so these doors, you cannot walk through, and they are not, you know, openable. They require a, they require command blocks to actually, um, to actually function. And if you did not know, I have a full video explaining how to make all types of different command block doors, specifically in their doors that work like this. If you would like to check that video out, I will link the video in the description. Um, definitely check it out, it will help a lot, that's how these doors can work. Or if you don't really know how to do that, or if it's too confusing, or if you don't want to, you can just go ahead and have a gap here. That way you are able to walk into each individual room that is actually decorated. But besides that, that is everything. The entire Five Nights at Freddy's movie pizzeria, fully built and fully complete, and fully decorated as well, without using any custom player heads whatsoever. So, obviously, now that I have finished this, what am I going to be doing next? Well, the main thing is I, will, I am going to be trying to focus more on some of my tutorials, not my tutorials, my animations that I have been... Um, not really posting at all on my second channel. That is something that I've been wanting to do for a long time, and since ever since Ruin came out, I've been on this whole this whole thing. Um, I do plan on obviously uploading other videos to my main channel here. I don't know if it will be tutorials or not. I've been thinking about maybe continuing doing my Poppy Playtime videos. I may end up doing some of that, and also obviously continuing Ruin as well. 
But for right now, I'm going to be taking a little bit of a break and working on my second channel, which is my animation channel. So obviously, if you are sub to that, you will find some more videos to hopefully be appearing on there relatively soon. But for now, I hope that you guys enjoyed this entire tutorial series for the Five Nights at Freddy's movie. If you did, make sure to give the video a like and subscribe to my channel if you would like to see some more videos like this. And with that, with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you whenever another, whenever another video comes out. See ya.